All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to the uh, rebroadcast um, for uh, Rift Sharks versus New York Nutbusters. Um, I'm actually really dumb. I forgot to drag over the assets uh, that I generated. I was gonna be all seamless, and it was gonna look cool, and then I fucked it up. So, you know, as it happens. All right, uh, I should give you the screen share in like two seconds. All right, I am joined by Taxi. Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so I don't know. Some of you might have known uh, what the results of the games were, but uh, I am just going to go ahead and hide the standings um, for this cast just to avoid any possible spoilers. I tried to edit out um, any images that we might include that might spoil the results of the games because I did already log them. I wasn't sure if we were going to do a delayed cast. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty cool experience. Uh, both of us were in the game, uh, so it should have some cool insight that we wouldn't get in a different cast. Uh, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing pretty good. I uh, got some Chick Fil A, and I'm ready. I'm ready to watch these games. They were they were they were fun. I think the cast will be even more fun than actually playing the games. Uh, possibly. Uh, definitely less stressful. Uh, it was a pretty intense series. I definitely had to try my hardest uh, throughout the entirety of it, but um, it'll be nice to just kind of kick back and relax uh, on the cast. Um, so some champions to watch for these players. Uh, PB's Rel is absolutely disgusting. Um, and then the GP and Zoe are pretty obvious from uh, Blake and Taxi. Forgot to pause the slideshow. Um, Mike's Viego has been pretty good. I feel like normally the Rengar is uh, the one that people look out for just because he has the name, uh, the one trick name, but, you know, uh, he's been performing on a lot of other champions, and then Alex's Caitlyn uh, has been a threat. I'm pretty sure we banned it against you guys all three games uh, last time we played, uh, but uh, we I, might I get to see remember. it today. So, I don't know. Do you want to give the, the rundown on our champions? I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, Joel, yeah, he plays top lane and he's a poppy one trick, so we ban the poppy. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> and, um, other than that, Dean can basically play everything, so no, but apparently he can only win on K champions. Thought about that, but I don't know, something he brought up at one point. I, I, th I think that changed <laughs> literally the next series. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember he said that in a podcast like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, I. But, I believe that happened uh, to change in the series directly after. I'm going to just double check. That's but... funny. That's funny. But uh, yeah, Eriko, terrifying, terrifying Blitzcrank. Mm. So had to watch out for that. But just Seraphine here. I, I don't know. It has, it has Dean as support. And oh, this is this is because we did the, the swap for the first game. But Oh, uh, wait. I didn't even realize that y'all swapped the first game. I'm not even alive. But um. I mean, it really yeah. depends on what you qualify Senna as in the Senna lanes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I consider the AD carry, so... I, I don't even remember which I'll play. Like, Senna West? Uh, Senna Vigar. We'll see draft Senna shortly. Vigar. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's weird, I guess. But yeah. And then Healy. Malzahar. I think Malzahar is a terrible champion, so... Wasn't really watching for that, but he performs pretty well on the pick. And then Shivana. I think Shivana is also a terrible champion, so not yeah, too worried I mean, about is... it, even if he does perform. But I think these are like seasons old stats. Yeah, I mean, last season uh, Jonah basically just played Shivana and Lily every game and completely Makes dominated sense. on them. So he's gonna have disgusting yeah. score lines on those. But uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't Shivana, think we've I seen think either season, of them this season. This yeah. season, I think Shivana is terrible. <laughs> so True. yeah, but uh. Yeah, I did double check. Uh, literally the next game after that podcast, I played Sivir and won. So <laughs> immediately uh, proved that play. wrong. Then I played Ash after that. I actually may have not won on a K champion since saying that. Perhaps. Oh yeah, um, I, I completely cursed myself. As soon as I said that, I no longer can win on K champions. So uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking Flip before I put my my foot in my mouth again. But um. Yeah. Uh, I guess I am the key player for for our team. I think we kind of already talked about me. Big champion pool, seventy two champions. Seventy two champions so, played. What? I mean, two hundred six games. So, you know, it happens. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, Blake is a bit of a menace as well. 39 champions, but his win rate is like the big thing to look at on this card, I think. 56.3% uh, is super hard to maintain on a uh, sample size like this. So, uh, Very good player. Has a wide variety of champions he can play. And has definitely been known to pull out some funky picks, although I don't think we saw any uh, in this series. Um, and I think that is actually all we have, so I'm just going to kick it to draft. Uh... I guess we can just each kind of explain our thought process here. Um, I think these are just the same three bands we used against you guys last time, and they kind of panned out pretty well for us. Um, and I think the same goes for your bands. Yeah, we, we banned the same three champions last time we played. It's just yeah. standard. Anivia, I don't want to fight that. And Poppy one trick sure. Blitzcrank, scary. So, yeah, pretty, I mean, pretty standard bands. Pretty reasonable. Uh, we just locked the Vigar. Um, definitely a little less strong than it was before especially in the bot lane but i think it went down from like 53 percent mid and 58 percent bot to like 51 and 54 um so not like a huge nerf uh we still thought uh, it was pretty good prio um it's also like a nice flex between um mid uh and adc uh, or support if you want to count the starving santa lanes but um pretty good pick uh we felt like there wasn't anything you could immediately kind of punish us with into the Vigar. Yeah, I mean, everyone on my team basically immediately was like, yeah, it's AD carry. And I was like, yeah, there's like the potential. They flex it. I think it's AD carry too, but I think we should chill a little bit. That, that kind of is reflected in our bands, how we banned the Lissandra, because there's like, we, we kind of figured it was in round two at least. We kind of figured it was bottom. And then. Yeah, I mean, I, I think. Know this the, is looking a, looking a little band. down the draft, but it was just like. Yeah, we can we can just play R even though it's a bad matchup. Uh, just trust me to win early, I guess. But yeah, Cho was more focused at top, not with the gotcha. not with the Senna. Yeah, I think we did debate um, doing Senna and something else, and just putting the Vigar into the RE because uh, the matchup's pretty solid. But um, we felt it was better to just give Healy um, his pick of the litter and play the bot lane, um, leaving Caitlyn up. Uh, and the Viego was a bit questionable. Um, we felt like uh, Vigar was actually a pretty good pick here, because in my opinion, um, he shuts down the Caitlyn lane pretty well. Um, so we weren't super scared of it, especially when we're blinding a champion uh, that we feel has a good matchup into it. Uh, we locked the Senna, and then uh, Wukong is just a champion. Jonas Comfortable on has good team fighting. Um, he has a lot of AoE that Senna and Vigar kind of lack, uh, except he does uh, work out pretty well with the Vigar cage, so... Um, yeah. Pretty good picks, we thought. Yeah, I liked your team comp. I, I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was pretty decent. Uh, we just drafted pretty standard. Try to play for like a strong mid duo with like Viego Ari. It's like a yeah. I mean, have a lot of power early. Didn't really make use of that like duo very much. But Mike did other things elsewhere on the map, so it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean <laughs> Ari. Ari Vi, Ari Viego, stuff like that. Very good setup when you both have kind of long-lasting CC. Um, makes for good stuff. Uh, Thresh, very good champion right now, so I think that pick was pretty solid. Um, does well into Senna. I feel like it does less well into Vigar, uh, but I think it was a solid pick. And then Ari Lux, mid lane lock-ins, um, nothing too crazy there. And then Orn Garen is a pretty standard top lane. We had to blind something. Orn's generally a pretty safe blind pick, but Garen does have um, a pretty good foothold into that matchup, so I think we kind of rounded out draft well. Um, there are three mid lane bans taken away, which aren't surprising, uh, just because of how contentious this lane is going to be between um, our two teams. I feel like mid lane is considered to be one of, if not the strongest, uh, position uh, on your team. And... No jungle. Oh, on our team. Yeah, and then... So jungle is a little broken but true um and i think it's probably um like our second strongest or strongest player is our mid laner most of the time so i think a lot of focus there is not uh anything too crazy uh, i'm gonna try and get us into game um before too long uh, i actually forgot to download the replays so very professional yeah it might take like 10 seconds instead of uh, zero seconds for it to download yeah, okay. Um, we should be getting in uh, any second. Uh, I feel like our team comp uh, going into the game was pretty standard. Just try and set up fights uh, with Wukong and Orin Ultimate. 
um, and try to avoid getting uh, Viega reset or picked off by the Ari. Um, 5v5s are definitely better for us, but everything else um, pretty much favors your comp. Uh, because skirmishes are super good with that mid jungle duo you were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. That was like the main reason for the Ari is just screw it. If we can get a pick, then Viego resets, and everybody knows that Viego does any resets. It's just not balanced. It's disgusting. Sure. Uh, it's mm, I, I don't understand this character. Yeah, some bait pings coming out. Uh, it seems like you guys were looking to try and catch us out on the invade, which we were being very cautious of. Uh, we were trying to just play late and scale. Um, you have Orin, Senna, Vigar. All these champions just scale super hard. Um, our assumption going into this game is if we play safe and don't die a lot early, we should just have the scaling advantage. I guess that's the reasoning for the cleanse on the Lux. I noticed that like really early, and I was just like, that's annoying. I'm glad I didn't take Ignite, because I, I was contemplating taking Ignite in this game, but I was like, it's probably better just to go TP, because Lux has such good wave clear, especially for 6. Yeah, I might actually need to pull the Clown makeup out for this one, but I genuinely didn't even realize he had taken that. So, sure. uh, Surely... Um... A bot laner doesn't need to look at his own mid laner summoner spells. <laughs> Irrelevant. I think I just saw enough to know it wasn't TP and just called it good. Yeah, I mean, you play the same whether he has anything other than TP or TP. Right. Unless I'm setting up a play in mid, in which case I'd probably check, but... Probably actually did come mid and just didn't look, so... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Not having my finest uh, day of league <laughs> yesterday, I guess, but... Um, bot lane uh, should be very boring um, if it goes well for us, but I'm pretty sure PB hit some good hooks here and made it a bit dicey. I'm, I think right here is actually pretty cool, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he just walks up, hits the yeah, fly. Yeah, he just walks up. And hits the flash, <laughs> or hits the hook through the flash. Uh, very good predict there. Um, forces double sums out of me at like two and a half minutes. Uh, that was think, not fun just, to deal with. I think you just flashed in a straight line. <laughs> I think you was not predicting anything. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, my read on Thresh's hook range, uh, this game was very bad. Um, which that is was, funny because uh, I play a lot of Thresh. I just simply don't know how to play into Thresh. I guess. No, that's fair. That's me with Zoe. Don't don't put me up against a Zoe. I'll I'll just I'll just lose. Understandable. But uh, yeah, I, I know I ate every single luck skill shot in like lane. Like, look at my health right now. I'm I'm one HP on the sideline bar. Yeah, like, uh, I think I, I think I ate well. every single skill shot. I was getting outlaned for sure in the early game by a lot. Yeah, I feel like uh, Joel actually played this lane um, early pretty well, which is, I feel like, is the point of the lane where um, they struggle the most. I actually have managed to dodge this. Uh, PB flashes in and somehow gets the fly hook on me, and I do just follow the first blood. It was a really good gank setup. Uh, Mike started top and path down bot, I believe. Um, which worked out so much better because I burned double sums at like two and a half minutes. So I kind of just did not have an opportunity to live there uh, because of the mistake I made earlier. Um, but really good punish from you guys. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure at this point in the game, we're just like, because we know we get so hard outscaled and we have a Caitlyn lane. So, I mean, obviously, you know, Caitlyn lane, early game jungler, you're gonna probably just pass towards the bot side, especially. I mean, after getting the double sums early game, it's just like, okay, this, this is a free kill. I think I think the call was to dive, even if you didn't get caught. Like yeah. we were just gonna dive, but didn't even have to. So yeah, see that one. Well, I just walk and do again. Um, he like has my number here. We actually do just pick up the kill there because Jonah um, was positioned really well to punish. Um, and I managed to get out. I decide I'm just going to grab as many souls as I can and just mm -hmm. uh, not walk up because anything from Alex would have killed me there. Yeah, really unlucky. Uh, I don't know if they were trying to go for a like shove base reset or like what. I think I think they probably should have focused the wave a little bit more there just because they hadn't based. 
like Alex is Alex is gonna base and he's gonna have so much money and Thresh like died and then based obviously when he died and got full tier two boots, so Yeah, I mean uh, I think it's mistake. one of those hit the hook and just go for yeah, the play, the but go for the play, but damage was barely not there. Unlucky, but it happens. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Ward is messing him up. Yeah, Blake has to Burn flash the there. Uh, and you almost so. get a solo kill in the mid lane. Um, but now Mike's looking top, so something could happen. I'm pretty sure we called this on comms, but uh, it doesn't matter because Joel can just walk into the wave and there's nothing Mike can do anymore. Um, he does have the ult, but I don't think he's enough mana to get the full combo off. Um, if you hit that charm there, that's a free kill, but um, he has cleanse. pretty he has hard cleanse. to. I, I'm, oh, I'm, okay. making, I'm, I'm making burn cleanse, but... Don't look yeah. my skill shots, bro. Oh my, I, I was tilted going into this first yeah. game. I did not want to play today, yeah. uh, and then it, it was a double header too. And I just like, oh, yeah, don't 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 look don't look my stream vod. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I oh. think if Healy has alt here, he's able to get the kill too. But um, isn't level six yet? Uh, you're up about uh, five CS, and you had just gotten it's, access it's to even. another wave. It's even. Yeah, it's even. It's even CS. And I think he's just gonna stay and ulti the wave, and I don't have TP, so he's like really positive on that play. This is like yeah. the main strength of Lux; like it's impossible to tempo base against her. Gotcha. I just like never see Lux mid, uh, so I'm glad you. I think it's. Inside. I think it's. I think. I think it's very, very good. I, I played it like a decent amount in the past. I stopped because I got bored. But yeah. when I played it, when I played it, I won, and I guess I got bored of winning. But. I think it's a very real pick. I think it's genuinely really good. Like, I don't think it's OP, but I think it's like the best of the artillery champions. Yep, and I get hit by uh, another hook here. I like, think I swallowed a few magnets before this game. Uh, <laughs> I just genuinely don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, positioning really poorly. Um, good on PB to just recognize the poor positioning and just punish with hooks. Oh yeah, basically for sure. off cooldown. So I was 100% not the better support in this game. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Top lane is looking pretty even um, so far. A little bit of a lead for Blake, but he does have counter pick, so that's not super surprising. Uh, he picked up the call here to go for um, the kind of scaling advantage and just try to out farm and get an even greater advantage with that with the extra gold. Um, Joel's going for stuff there, but does not have enough um, to really pop him. I think even with ulti at this point, uh, Garen's regen is kind of just gross. Yeah, he's too tanky. Can't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think Orn can pop him from that health. It, it'll probably take like another, like maybe another two rotations, and then you can kill him on the third with ulti. But unlikely yeah. to happen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that play bot uh, was actually not spotted, um, and then. Uh, either Alex or PB just walked up. I think Alex uh, walks up, places a ward in the bush, and just finds a Wukong. But Jonah wasn't ready for the ward to come down because, you know, hard to predict that. So the play just kind of fizzled. Yeah, and Joel is going for it now. Is able to hit two brittle procs there. Um, and really smart move the dash behind him. And is just going to pick it up. The Bella's Breath does take him down. And solo kill by Joel in the counter matchup. So, good stuff from him there. Yeah, no, really good. First hook I dodged all game. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but I'm going to say it is. <laughs> First hook dodge on cast, at least. True. <laughs> While we're looking bot lane. Yep. Uh, that one eats oh, Eric, okay. but I was able to get the root down onto PB. Uh, Eric flashes out. is dropping down low, but not low enough. Yeah, Alex unfortunately walked into the cage there, so a little bit of DPS loss, but yeah. could have could have maybe found the kill otherwise, like if he walked like around it while autoing, but they're chilling. Um, I eat another one here, but I do get a double root, which is kind of cool, but Jonah's on the flank. Um, I don't know what I was ulting there, uh, but Eric is able to pick up the kill. Um, I'm, I if I remember just... correctly, our comms uh, were just pick up Alex, don't worry about um, Matt. But uh, Jonah just walks up into two people, and Mike just has enough damage to light him up. We're super low health, so there's no way we were able to continue the fight. I try my best, and we are able to go one for one here, I believe. Um, kill goes to our uh, carry player. 
Um, but a kill on Viego is not super great for us either. Um, we do have a slight gold advantage at this point in the game. I think that kill top lane is literally the entire gold diff. Yeah, roughly. Just the... Well, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Just being up one kill is why you're up about 200 gold. I mean, makes sense. Yeah. In isolation, everybody on your team is down CS other than jungle, but... I mean, the CS are so close. Hey, Joel's up. <laughs> <laughs> By like a whole six, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Big, wave, big wave crashing, though. Blake will, Blake will catch it, even it up. Yeah. Looks like a play is trying to be made. I don't remember this play. I, I'm, I'm just cat jamming. But yeah, ulti's just going to come down. Demasi and Justice. And he's, I mean, that's just the easiest frag ever. Yeah, I mean, Joel was able to find the solo kill in the 1v1, but it's really hard to deal with a Garen and a Viego. Um, you spend most of the fight silenced or stunned, so I'm very hard for you to get anything done. The Healy looks for the burst there, does not have enough. The auto drops you down super low. Um, you do a really good job of clearing out the wave there. Prevent the dive. That's basically the story in mid lane this game. Me getting hit by every skill shot, living on one health. Burning all my cooldowns, not on him, but on the wave, and then yeah. pressing B. He like it's good poke there, is able to get the double yeah. root, and Jonah goes in, is able to pick up the shutdown the onto Mike. Blake is running away, Healy flashes over the wall to get himself to safety, um, but I'm not sure Jonah's going to be able to finish this off. Autos him in, he drops down to probably 20 health there. Uh, Jonah's just going to turn and try and finish the Rift Herald after that. Uh, funny thing really? about Garen is he... Probably could have just walked back to lane and been fine, but he does choose to take the reset there and spend some gold. Yeah, he's probably sitting on a decent chunk. I don't think he based since the top lane kill, so... Yeah, that was a Caulfield's and a Longsword. Yeah. And there could be a trade angle here uh, where you guys just take Dragon and we take Rift Herald, but um, instead, uh, both teams commit to try and secure this Rift Herald. We do pick it up. Um, me and you traded uh, pretty evenly into each other, but uh, Jonah was able to just grab the Rift Herald, and we walk away pretty safely. Uh, yeah, fight just fizzles. Yeah, Vigor are... is allowed to just solo hit bot tower, though, which is, like, really bad for us. This is, like, something we realized in the game is, like, our bot lane shouldn't have moved to a play that was, like, definitely already yeah. over. Good cleanse Burn from Healy the there, but uh, he misreads the movement for the Q. Um, I believe Eric should just get out fine uh, down here. Yeah, the cage onto Matt, that was pretty unfortunate there. I'm going to swap our positions, so hitting the buttons will do what I think it does. Um, you guys were able to get vision control on the dragon, um, though. Play comes out mid. i just going to go back. I uh, Dude, was this, too this focused dawning on shadow, else. This dawning shadow tilted me so hard. That I'm I, I glad. That was the point. I, I was yeah. like, how did I die from this? Like, I'm, I'm like 400 health. I got hit by, I think I got hit by something at Lux at the same time, but I was like, how yeah, did I Yeah, I die? think I Healy know. popped E2 um, right before I hit with the LT. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, my W goes wide there, but um, he's still trapped in the cage, so it's still free hitting for us. Um, he's going to pull down low. Oh, Alex, hit, unfortunately, yeah. hit the cannon. It's a big, down, big target. Get down, Mr. President. And then this also is happening at the same time. Just waits for the ult to come out, and boom. No, nice pickup from that play. Uh, yeah. Jonah there. He, Mike was asking me if he wanted me to hold the wave or if I could clear it, and I was just like, you can clear it, you can clear it. And he like stood there holding, he tanked like 400 health worth of minion damage. Yeah. And I was just like, no, you can clear it if you really want to. Like, I, I'm not getting, I'm like dead. I don't yep. have TP. There's and, uh, the strength of Garen, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Joel flashes yeah. immediately, and it simply doesn't matter. Uh, the ghost from Garen's just enough to run him down. Deplorable champion. Garen is Garen is something else, man. Yeah, the bull haircut, Giga a, Chad. Big fan. He's he's a he's a funny guy. Yep. And uh, nine minutes later, we do end up picking up the first drag of the game, Chemtech drag. Uh, Ocean is next. Do you remember what soul it was? I think Infernal. No, I don't remember. I'm guessing it's going to be an Infernal soul. I, I thought it was Ocean. That, I don't know. I, pl I played so many games yesterday, they all blend together. I couldn't even tell uh, you what I played in like any of these lobbies. He got a lot of poke there. That's another one of those. If he hit it, uh, hit anything, he gets it. Yeah, that is, that is like a weakness of these like 
artillery mages. They're basically all skill shot oriented, and if you miss one, you're missing like a lot of your damage. So yeah, I feel like they're very good if you're able to hit everything. But um, yeah, I mean, if you hit, very luck also, dependent, like, I, I think. I, I think his build was like super grief though. The he would have killed if I think I think if he had the blasting one if he gotcha. was going into Luden. Yeah, I just walked right into you there. Um, was that blind or did you have vision on that? Do you remember? Uh, we had minions under tower, and I saw you like gotcha. moving, like you were going to go down there. So I was like, "Yeah, he's probably here right now." And just get poke on him with my R. That makes sense. Because if we, because I think the play was if we force you to base here, then we can push in mid and then do something. I, I don't remember. This time, uh, Joel is actually able to walk away from the play, um, and Jonah was just waiting for you to spot it out. I popped the Senna ulti to try and get some extra damage, but the double Wukong and Orn ulti is just getting so much here. Um, yeah, so much CC. We drafted it. Divine Sunder Wukong just... He spikes really hard, does a lot of damage, has a lot of utility. We were not, obviously not ready for the Wukong in the bush. Just didn't. We had no idea. That was, that was a really good pathing by um, Jonah. Yeah. This time, when someone gives vision of Jonah in a bush, uh, he was expecting it, so he pops the engage immediately. Um, <laughs> worked out better for us than it did last time. Um, but then again, someone walking into the bush uh, is a lot more obvious than someone dropping a ward. Uh, I trolled yeah, there, uh, pretty much just instant myself. Um, I actually would have been fine there if PB did not burn flash ulti, uh, but I positioned, again, very poorly. I believe Eric's just going to pick this one up, though. Um, one for one is not terrible, especially with extra sacks being given to Vygar. Uh, we were not too upset about this. Uh, but Alex traded really well back into this. Yeah, if we did not get out there, Bike had the potential to just alt over the wall and engage, but... Um, we made the smart move to get out, I think. Inside of knowing that that Lux was in that bush that entire time is very sad. Yeah. Because I was waiting right above Red Buff in the in the top bush, looking for Wukong to rotate back or something or see if Lux was anywhere. But yeah, I think here's when the pause was right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the chat was pretty funny there. Uh, Blake yeah. was literally mid auto to kill the tower and goes, Nothing's gonna happen here, right, Joel? <laughs> yeah. It was pretty funny. But, I mean, he was right. Uh, nothing happened there. Pretty boring. Um, the Black Cleaver first on Garen is just brutal into these tanks. Um, getting the Shred, um, I believe it stacks with Garen E, um, naturally. Uh, so if you just run at him and spin him, uh, there's not much they can do. It also gives move speed, I believe, so helps yep. Garen stick on the tank. So, I mean, yeah, it's just a really good rush item into these uh, tank kind of matchups. It's yep. just. Garen Surely he would not build this item into Sichuani in the future. <laughs> no, of course not. Yeah. I love burning TP and then getting hit by one luck skill shot. Yeah, that is uh, the nice thing about artillery mages, though. You have the range to just hit people um, as they TP, because you can't predict the spot. Um, I honestly do think, though, if uh, Healy had bought anything other than Crown, um, he would have been able to pick up the kill there. Ludens is just a buy every day of the week this game. I, I, I don't know. Why. Like, if you're ever in range to get engaged on by Viego, it's like your fault and you should die and crown probably won't save you like you're yeah. buying it purely for ari which is like yeah weird. we have an orn engage here we're looking for something really good buffer um into your charm looking for it but we are just fighting at 3v4 um our comms are a bit of a mess here um i was really just looking to snag someone with the w uh not start a fight but wasn't super clear about it uh so we kind of get baited and then eric gets full collapse on is able to pick up one which is nothing short of a miracle but uh, we do just give 700 gold to you um, and, and lose the dragon, which is not mm -hmm. ideal. Um, I kind of just got greedy uh, for the ultimate on you. I think you were able to dodge it. Uh, but yeah, it was just a bit of a rough play. Um, communication was oh, a then, bit yeah, all over the place. Yeah, then monkey comes over the wall. Yeah, it was just, I, was, I was just calling like, yeah, monkey, 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 monkey. Like, well, what is he doing? He's just he's a griefer. Yeah, he's we actually did have a gold lead the entire game up until that point. Um, the double shutdown to 
Uh, both you and Mike um, really put us in a bad position here. Yeah, that was, that was the flip point of the game. Like that, That's where it just became a lot easier for us to play. Like We had a more early game centric team comp and we were kind of behind in all these fights, but we were still like... I never like thought we were at a gold deficit, like we were, but like it never really felt like it. But yeah. at this point, even though we're like 300 gold ahead, like we felt like we were like thousands of gold ahead. Like we felt so strong. Yeah, I mean, part of that point. is just like the Senna. Um, <laughs> like I'm going to have like 600, 700 gold up on uh, PV, uh, pretty much just because of my passive. Because we have basically the same scoreline, and he actually has additional CS on me. Um, which does kind of get countered out with a support item, but um, aggressive play here throws a wild predict hook. If that hit, that would have been nuts. Um, but yeah, there's just no play uh, after the hook misses. He starts missing hooks when he starts throwing them at Eric instead of me. Um, <laughs> is what it is. Senna, Senna is just a juicier target. Squishiest champion in the game, you know, and she attracts the hooks. Yeah. I also think Eric goes, not not to like rag, but this is what like we were talking about in our like our games. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think his build sucks too. Like, Row is fine, but like, please, please tell everyone that plays Vagar out there, unless you're fighting us, and then do this. But like, if you're not fighting us. Buy a death cap second, please. Like it's gotcha. that was that was Ceres. actually my call. Ceres uh, is so bad a second item on that character in specific. Gotcha. Healy does burn flash and cleanse and get out of that play, but yeah, Ceres uh, really bad second on Vagar. Like you want, you want the you want the death cap. It's just, gotcha. If you especially if you have the Roa, because like you're tanking right. enough from the Roa as is. You you don't need like it's like. Yeah, I, I will. I will take the uh, the fault Camille, for that one. Like, like Camille, Vi, or something like maybe, but like you need death cap, or you do no damage for a long time. Which this this Vagar was so fed, but like he stunted his build, so it, like he didn't really feel too oppressive like at all in this game, um, which was nice. Yeah, I mean, I thought it would be smart into the Viego um, to just kind of keep him alive. And the thought was that we'd maintain the tempo with the Vigar to get the um, Archangels and then have the full death cap uh, just in time before any of the major team fights. Uh, but since we kind of forfeited some of our lead uh, with that coin flip play mid and then seeding the dragon, uh, made it a lot harder for that to end up happening. Yeah, I mean, some people He's, like it, but yeah. I, I think it's I think I think it's super bad, and it looks super bad every time I see like anybody. Even they do it in pro sometimes, it just looks terrible. Gotcha. But I don't know. Well, something to learn. Just an too. just an observation yeah. as a Vigar player. <laughs> I also think Everfrost is just better, but this game row is good. I think. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I normally do like row or Everfrost directly into Death Cap mid lane, but. When I'm bot, I feel like uh, it's easier to opt into the um, Archangels just because I feel like you normally have access to more gold. But, um, you know, this game went in a bit of a different direction than we saw it going. Yeah, uh, that's fair. Uh, I think the the pause for sure threw us off a little bit, um, which is not an excuse. It is just simply a, a statement of things that happened. Uh, we, uh, I think, Bro, just you're overthought the game. Uh, that's fair. Also, bro, what are you doing? You're walking in circles. There's like four souls in the Raptors pit, and you're standing right outside Raptor. Go get your souls. That's yeah. not efficient. You're inefficient. Tisk tisk. This tisk. is true. Not a Senna player at heart, I can tell. True. I forget jungle camps drop resources. Like a As... bunch, especially Raptors. They yeah. drop like three or four. As a ADC player, if the dot is not on the map, that is no nothing for me to steal from <laughs> jungler. So why would I go there? <laughs> Really? I don't know. I used to be a much more team focused player, so my Senna and Jin were my good picks because they were supportive. But now I get resources, so I uh off off my grind or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon this this was really interesting really... here because we really underestimated um how good the Leandri's and Morello purchase into the Orn would be. Uh, there's just not anything Joel can do in the solo lane here. Uh, we mm -hmm. were thinking that There'd be an option 
for him to teleport, but he just gets bursted here. Uh, you pop the ultimate and there's nothing Joel can do. Uh, which yep. puts us at a huge disadvantage in this fight. And um, Matt just leads the fight by hooking Eric uh, and then hooking Jonah right after. The Thresh buffs were huge. Um, the super low cooldown of the hook is crazy. And then another yeah, hook yep. gets hit onto Healy. Um, and then and yeah. just the is down the center and it's just, yeah. I will say, I think uh, the second hook onto the Wukong was onto the clone. Um, it, it threw me off a lot uh, in game because I thought he used E, but it was actually just the second full of uh, Death Sentence. Mm. So I was trying to figure out which one was Jonah, <laughs> which is not something oh, you should be having to do. Um, he goes up here to try and contest the seal, but he just gets caught with How another hook by PB. Buff, by then... the way, hook, hook, hook. Can we yeah. get a three for three? Boom. That's despicable. Yep, and then the kill is gifted over to Alex's first kill of the game. Yeah, and uh, you know, just like hindsight, or I guess running it back a little bit in time with the me solo killing the Orn, basically the, the call there was, I can just sit top, I know I absolutely destroy this guy 1v1 yeah. with my items. I can poke him out low enough to where if he respects me, I can TP in and it can be a 4v5 because he'll be forced to base. Yep. And if he doesn't, then I can just kill him and then... It's even still then, I might be able to TP. Yeah. yeah, and even then, I could maybe still TP, but I took like four tower shots or like three tower shots, so I ended up having to base. But yeah, Orn is definitely off. more required to be in the fight than me, or because like Orn is your basically only front line other than Wukong. But Wukong more likes being like engaging with someone than just going in by himself. So pretty pretty confident that with Thresh Peel and Garen frontlining that. That's just a super favorable 4v4. Right, losing the brittle procs onto the like tankier champions of honestly Viego at this point, just because he has so many levels um, as the jungler, and uh, Blake uh, really does suck. Um, we kind of need triple brittle to burst them down to a reasonable amount of health to win a fight. Now, yeah, Jonah's going for something here. Unfortunately, the blast cone is able to just deny the play for us, but uh, I like the attempt, and he loses nothing for it so works out yeah wukong ulti would cancel the blast cone right yes okay but I, since I, since you both got hit by it there was no it. timing yeah. for him to do it but yeah and I, even if i got hit by it maybe i die i don't know like smite me for the slow right i mean it would just be like a ult for ult trade out. which yeah, is trade. uh i think his is probably me. more valuable and yeah, here again, you're just able to sauce Joel. There's not much he can do. Uh, he fared pretty well in the lane um, versus Blake, but the Ari and the Orn matchup is uh, not great for sure, um, yeah, especially you can, you considering your build. Yeah, you can't hit me. It's like impossible. Yeah, and at this point, you have uh, fully stacked Dark Seal, uh, which is kind of ludicrous. Healy walks up to try and clear the wave, but um, isn't able to stop Blake from taking the tower. Uh, Blake is net or Jonah's now looking for an engage. Um, is actually able to pick you off. That's 800 gold to him, but um, now he's stuck uh, next to a Garen. Um, he's not gonna die. Uh, I honestly can't tell if Healy missed that or the Thresh Shield just completely neutralized it. I think it was Thresh Shield with Negatron Cloak. Yeah. And just. They absolutely ate it. Also, Healy, your that item, Horizon Focus or whatever it's called, yeah. it doesn't work. It's bugged. Don't buy it. Wait, it's on, bugged. It's bugged. The passive doesn't work like eighty percent of the time. Please don't buy. It literally doesn't work. Wait, that's it's crazy. Bugged. It's been bugged for like a season and a half, and they're not fixing it. Don't buy that. Item. Why aren't people buy talking it. about this? Because everyone that like knows about it has unanimously agreed to just like not build it and wait for them to fix it and then they never did so everybody forgot that the item exists because uh horizon uh the mr1 the one that shreds oh. that has kind of flame horizon, horizon uh horizon focus, focus. no wait yeah. no, this is horizon no. focus uh shadow, shadow flame? flame shadow flame yeah, yeah. shadow flame Everybody's just like, that item is just better in every situation, so we'll just buy it because that one works. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, Horizon Focus doesn't work. Well, Horizon Don't Focus works it. on Ziggs, so I buy it on Ziggs. <laughs> That's like the one champion it actually functions on, I think. That's crazy. 
Yep. Half of the passive doesn't, because it's like it's either on if you hit somebody over 700 range or CC them, it it yeah. just doesn't work if you CC them. Like if you CC them, it doesn't work. And then the gotcha. 700 range doesn't work half of the time. It only works like when it feels like working. <laughs> so my guess might be it doesn't calculate like the champion range. It calculates like the ability range or something, but. I don't know. Yeah, Jono just gets caught out here. He should be able to get over the wall, but the silent stun the combo, silent he, he's just Garrett, caught out. Yeah. There's nothing he can do, but he does flash he over does the wall. He can survive wall. for a little bit, but he's dropping down low. Uh, Death Stance is ticking. I was able to save him uh, with a Q, uh, but now Blake is just going to be able to get Ornn. Um, except Healy hits a really good root, uh, so we're able to just get out. But now you're here. Force a cleanse out of him, and now the crown's gone. And Blake is just sitting in the bush. I accidentally just knocked Joel out of the fight there trying to heal him. Because I hit the blast cone. We don't need to talk about that any more than I just did. Uh, but now Joel's here back in the fight trying to get stuff done. But there's no Ornn ultimate. Um, you guys just pick up the dragon. There's nothing for us to do. Jonah is trying to kill Blake. Uh, Eric flash ult and just does no damage because the force of nature has been completed. Had a couple stacks on it as well. And I'm just going to die to Mike here. Or never mind. Alex's ultimate. And now you go over the wall and you're going to pick up a kill onto Eric, I believe. Um, or someone's going to kill him. Uh, Alex flashes into a cage under tower and is just going to get killed by the ult. Uh, but he picked up three kill there. everybody before he dies first, yeah. That was funny. Yeah. That, that, that was funny in comms, I'm not going to lie. When he flashed, autoed, and then walked into the cage under tower, that was really funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this game feels like it's kind of over. Um... Obviously, you're not going to end here, because uh, Wukong surely will stop you from doing so. Uh, but Mike wanted to end. The call here was from Mike. Mike really wanted to end, but we were like, uh, Orn's up in like two, Sin is up in like three, Wukong's already up. We can probably just base and play for Nash, which spawns, I think, in like, yeah, it's like two and a half minutes. Like, we yeah. can just play for that and then also look for the Mountain Soul. We can, we can just confirm the win like that instead of flipping and giving a lot of big shutdowns because the people that were there were the people with the three shutdowns left, so we were just like, eh, there is no point in just throwing the game into the trash can for fun. Yep, that is the correct play. Um, you're up about 7k gold. It is Mountain Soul. We were both wrong. Um, <laughs> I didn't say it then. Uh, I noticed it, but you said it was going to be Ocean Soul, and we already saw an Ocean Dragon as the first two drags, so... There was an ocean soul in one of my games. I forgot. Out of I six, I, I, I hope noticed so. It too. I noticed it too. Like after I said it, I was yeah. like, whatever, man. I don't know. I think it was in our last series when I was playing a soul against Andromeda. I think that was an ocean soul game. Yes, it definitely was. Because yeah. I made the yeah. comments about um, it giving Olaf what double enchantresses was providing for the other team. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think my soul benchmark here is like not very good. Yeah, I'm only at about a hundred. Um, I just wasn't able to interact uh, with the map and you guys at all um, past a certain point, uh, just because like the Viego, Thresh, Ari, it's very dangerous for me to get caught out there. And then um, when Senna's denied access to souls, it's very hard for her to get back into the game because she's still shorter range than um, mm -hmm. she's kind of like she's supposed to be. She's the squishiest champion in the game too, so it yeah. just really, really, really hurts. Yep. Also, Bygar is out about 258 stacks at this moment. Oh, and something that we didn't mention because it doesn't show up on the cast, but um, I actually did win the uh, the soul mission. Uh, so I have a bonus of 40 AP and armor. Um, super impactful this game, for sure. I'm not even gonna lie, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's Senna versus Thresh. Uh, I believe Lucian can also get it. Yeah, I think um, he can. I don't even know how it works though, like when somebody gets a kill on another, like after it starts or something. Yeah, I, I don't so know it's it once you've each hit certain thresholds, so I believe for Thresh it's like something ridiculous. Or no, Thresh it's like 40, I think, and then Senna needs to hit 100. Um, Thresh basically just turns into like crit Thresh if he gets it, and Senna gets uh, ability power and armor. Um, the amount of different stats Thresh gets is kind of insane. Uh, fight is breaking out here. It is not going very very well for us because we're just not able to kill um, either Mike or Blake. Blake just straight up walks into a bush and starts recalling. Um, Healy gets grabbed by another hook. PB just like hasn't missed all game. It seems like it's kind of no, ridiculous. The, the Matt Steve's Thresh is is not showed up today. 
it's it's the it's the PB brush today. And this also, is just going to be a free Baron. And I was gonna I was gonna mention it earlier, but about a minute and a half ago began my seven year sitting bot campaign where I just was annoying as oh as God. annoying as physically possible, where I just sat bottom and was like. I just feel like being as annoying as possible while y'all do whatever you want. And I sat down here for over six minutes, I think. Like, yeah, <laughs> it was a complete nightmare, because who do we have that can deal with you? Um, no one. Exactly. It's impossible. If I have ulti up, I'm never in pressure of dying, and I can just keep pressuring everything. And people people more important than me in team fights have to show up to stop me. Right. And if they do show up and they don't have CP, I just walk out and then TP and fight is absolutely over. So. Yep. I will add, I think the, the dumb thing about the Thresh mission is he also gets stats for killing Lucian and Lucian can't really get anything back. Does Lucian not get, like, he doesn't get any stats from? I guess, yeah, he doesn't have any souls or whatever. Yeah, so. <sighs> Sorry, Lucian. Imagine he got like a third shot, like pew pew pew. Instead of the double shot, it turns into a triple shot on his passive. Oh, okay. Cool. So all it does is, um, Thresh can just kill either of them, but they both like one of them needs to kill Thresh. So it basically, just has more targets for the quest to be completed. So Lucian and Senna would need to be on the same team uh, for it to affect the quest, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's not as cool as the Rengar Kha'Zix one, for sure, but, um, uh, just, just kind of neat. I thought, I thought the Rengar Kha'Zix one was, like, purely cosmetic. Does something happen? Oh, no, it's, uh, ridiculous. Kha'Zix gets a fourth evolve on his ult- So he gets all of his abilities evolved, and then oh, Rengar yeah, gets yeah, a yeah, yeah. six stack of Bone Tooth, so he gets 36% additional AD. Yeah, 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 I, I remember that now. There, it's, yeah. like, ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, but the requirements are weird for it. That one's harder to start, because Senna and Thresh is just um, a certain amount of stacks on each champion. Kha'Zix needs to be 16 with all three evolves um, actually pressed, and then Rengar needs to be fully stacked Bone Tooth, and then it just like happens at a random time after that. It's not consistent, which is kind of funny. Um, Alex does get hit here, um, does not, or is going to die, but only because Jonah has to commit flash, um, and I don't think we're even able to kill anyone else here. Um, Blake's just able to flash out, does not die to the ultimate, um, Mike kinda drops down low, but I miss my ultimate on him, and Healy just does not do enough damage, uh, to burst this out, and as you said, if you have ultimate up, we just can't kill you. Uh, Blake is now back at half health. Uh, and Mike is also back at half health, um, soon to be full health after clearing his top side. Funny jungle roll, healing to full off of like two camps. <laughs> yeah, it was just a extremely hard to kill either of them uh, in this game. Especially with the, especially through this mountain soul makes it e like even more harder. Like, how much percent resist is that from three? I don't, I don't even know how much one uh, gets. Twenty four percent. Eight to twenty four. Plus a shield. Plus plus a huge shield. Like. 300 health shield. Yeah, it's yep. very hard to kill anyone on our team. Even our squishy remembers. Oh, like, we 440 for Garen. Awesome. It's like based off a of max HP, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like even with Alex, like how he got caught by the Lux root and a Lux ulti and Orin ulti and a Wukong, like you had to burn all that just to get through the resists and the shield that we have, so. And he yeah. has Bloodthirster, because AD carries need to just be a class uh, I mean, like a full artillery tank, I guess. I don't know. True. It's okay. That means that we should have one of those on our team as well, because we have Orn. Every champion oh, in the right. game, surely. Yeah. Or every class in the game, sorry. Orn is not every champion in the game. That's Viego. You have <laughs> That's that one. Viego. Yeah, we have that one. <laughs> one up. Surely, I, uh, surely I did not I just burn a ward to grab a soul. <laughs> uh, I've done that before. It looks cool. It did. Yeah, but Jonah is now looking to pick you up, but you have ulti, so nothing happens. And now you're wasting our time, and you burn 
both Jonah and Joel down to half health with like three abilities. So I'm not really sure what Spurs is supposed to be able to do to stop you here. Um, game is slowly just winding down. Um, I think your Baron buff has expired though. Have I been in bot lane for over 10 minutes? <laughs> uh, it's been I'm... seven at this point, I think. Good lord. I, 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 I said I pitched a tent down there. For sure. Yeah, at this point, y'all have just been turtling, which is, like, not bad for you. I mean, you're still infinitely stacking, but... With Nash spawning in 40 seconds and Elder in a minute and a half, very, very clear win condition for Nutbusters. Yeah, 138 for Senna and 316 for Vigar. I don't know what the Vigar benchmarks are, but um, I, mean, I should be at about 180, gonna, 190 here. He should be at about 400. Gotcha. So we're both slightly behind where we're supposed to be, which isn't too bad considering this uh, state of the game, I think. And now we realize that we need to just check Baron or we're going to lose the game. And instead, checking Baron loses us the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, off the back of this team fight. Uh, Joel just gets caught out, gets some percent health damage, but we're just not here to follow up. Um, our push cut was kind of uncoordinated. You're able to hit me with the charm here. Um, I go for a root onto Alex, but it does not work. And Blake is just able to run me down because he's Garen. Um, Lux is going to fall. Her crown got popped super long ago. Uh, Jonah drops down super low, is going to get picked up as well. And Eric just has nothing he can do here um, in a super rough spot. And you guys just went four for zero. Um, Good charm flash and there you by go. the Ari there, and yeah, yeah, I just sealed kill. the deal. Yeah, that was a... Uh, a pretty textbook game. Yeah, we had a pretty stuff, solid but... lead um, through a fight mid, uh, died for the dragon, gave over like 2,000 golden shutdowns, and lost the game. Uh, because yeah. you guys simply did not make mistakes uh, for the rest of the game. Very well played to both teams, I think. Uh... Yeah, it's just like, one of those things where it's like one big mistake right. really, really, really makes the game harder to win. But yep, um, I think my initial reaction after the game was that Mike was MVP, but watching it back, that is like definitely incorrect. Um, you got hit too many times by hooks. For, yeah, for me, it's a toss up between uh, PB or you, but I think probably PB is the the take here. I'd probably, I'd probably give it to Matt. To PB, yep. yeah, I think he, I think he performed really well. He hit a lot of really important hooks in a lot of team fights. Also, I laned like fucking bronze player that game, and I did nothing but be annoying in side lanes. I, I think anyone with hands could do that. I was just huge. I, no way, no way, I get MVP that game. I didn't do anything. That I had a good sense. KDA because I'm playing Ari and I pressed R whenever your team right. tried to kill me. I mean, your side lane pressure was quite good, but I agree with yeah. you. I think playmaking for BB uh, there was the uh, differentiator. Yeah, I, I wasn't even part of any team fights either. Like real, like realistically, I was part of like zero important team fights that meant anything because I was just being as annoying as physically possible on side lane and drawing pressure, which in turn helps the team fights like prosper. But your team still has to win the four v four, right? And I think Matt really set everybody up to win the four v four. Yeah. I'd give it to either Matt or Mike, but I'd lean towards uh, Matt. Yeah, I think Matt is the correct choice after watching it back. Uh, not that either of them played poorly. Uh, I just think uh, just played the, the well thresh hooks the were team, pretty brutal. I just think there were yeah. a lot of team fights where he just hits four hooks in a row. and um, just It's just unplayable. I mean, yeah, if, some if, of them if were if fairly visible, hitting, like, maybe. Yeah, if, if Thresh is just hitting hook after hook after hook, you just can't play. Yep. Um... Do we have any cool highlights for this next game? Oh, we, we have the season records for these champions. Uh, this No, this isn't interesting. Um, what we can here. do is hop to the next draft. So I will get that pulled up um, real quick. Uh, we actually did swap sides this game. So here we go. Oh, this is the updated one. Uh, so this was kind of funny. Um, our entire draft discussion, or not entire draft discussion, but a big part of it was that we didn't think we need to ban the Kindred, right? Um, so mm -hmm. what what do I do uh, with Kindred on the mind? I type out Kindred and then press ban. <laughs> uh, nice. Rengar and Viego, we did one off the table, so we banned those afterwards. Uh, our other ban was going to be Aesol, uh, which he didn't pick, so... Thank God. I, sh I should have, man. I should have. It was like, oh my God, okay. this game, this game was embarrassing. I was a uh, a miracle worker. Um, 
you, my you mental banded, pressure. You banded in my mind. You banded in exactly. my mind. Exactly. Yep. So we do give Blake the GP. Um, the threat there is that Thomas is also a present slash former uh, GP enthusiast. Um, not as many mastery points as Blake, but certainly up there. Um, and he's able to play it in both lanes. Um, maybe I'm leaking our draft. Uh, I don't think it takes a genius to figure that one out. Um, so if Blake doesn't pick it, then we have potential to pick it R3 and then um, do some cover bans. And then uh, it's super hard to figure our draft out, um, especially with the counter pick adding in there. It's just super difficult uh, to play into, um, which is why we didn't go for it on blue side uh, in game three. Uh, sorry, spoilers. Um, but yeah, Blake grabs the GP, uh, and that is a very easy Malphite slam for us. Um, good matchup, uh, and it puts Joel in a much easier position than he is on Orn. Um, I feel like your style of play punishes Orn a lot better, whereas Malphite can use his lower cooldown ultimate to just get out of bad positions, whereas Orn kind of just has to slug his way out sometimes, which may or may not work depending on the game. Um, we also learned from the last game, and we just picked Thresh ourselves. Um, I don't think there's a any sort of like controversy around that pick. Uh, what yeah, was first, the first really good champion? Kaiser uh, uh Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the gang gangplank. Yeah, Blake got it, GP whatever. Kaiser Rakan, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't remember why we picked it. I think I was asleep for this draft. I think I, I was like in outer space. I think I think Alex just wanted to play Kaisa this game. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good and... champion. You have a uh, Malphite. Kaisa actually just really wanted a Malphite because she has hybrid damage and percent health damage. Yeah. And then Rakan is yeah. just a good pairing and should have a pretty even matchup into Thresh. I think it's pretty yeah, just and, and skill. And broken. Yeah, Rakan's just broken too. So, I don't know. There's just a good bot lane combo that uh, Alex wanted to play Kaisa when he saw the Malphite and the thresh because you know kaisa can like weave around hooks with the movement speed you have to like True. really predict where she's gonna go so it's like really hard to like lock her down compared to the average to carry True. and then and then my zeri has was, finally been yeah. fucking unshackled from the <laughs> i think i've drawn like nine or ten bands on this champion this season despite not really playing it uh in signups or anything um i did like a couple games back in like november but um I guess people have just been looking at my my ranked match history or something, um, realizing uh, I've been that. locking this champion in a couple of times. Um, if I was an eighty carry player, I would I would want Zeri. That, that champion's so fun. Yeah, she's so cool. Um, I also just think she's good. Uh, unfortunately, uh, no yeah, one on my team will good. play Lulu, so uh, <laughs> combo is the gone. Worst time to play Lulu. <laughs> I I think Yumi. You could be no honor and play Zeri Yumi. True. Oh, I can't believe. Uh, oh, we had to play into that, but actually, it, never mind, never mind, never mind. It, it opened the best Vi game of my life. And, that, True. Uh, and speaking, that game speaking of now. Vi, um, four mid lane bans are down. I'm pretty sure you just banned the last two champions Thomas played into you guys. I think that's a good yeah. take. Um, if you don't know much about a player, just ban what you've seen them play already. Uh, very fair take. Um, so we grabbed the Vi, it's still available. Um, felt like it was a very good pick. Um, it's able to shut down Gangplank and Kaisa because Kaisa can maneuver around things, but not if someone has a point-and-click CC ability on her. It's a lot harder. Um, Gragas was the pick. I feel like it does decently well in Divai um, and gives you um, a nice blend of damage. You don't want to be slamming a lot more AD picks down into the Malphite. And then I'll let you talk about the two mid lane picks. Uh, share your thoughts on the matchup. Okay, so basically, I said pick me Aesol, and they're like, oh, but they're going to be engaging in on us, and I said, I don't care, and they're like, oh, we want disengage and peel, and I was like, okay, I'll play Syndra then, so uh, gotcha. I'm, I'm playing I'm playing Syndra now, and I was like, well, that's going to be disingenuous, if Blake hears this, he's going to be like, no, you went along with it, I don't feel bad, shut up, bro, but like... <laughs> I, I, I didn't dislike the Sender here. It was like a decent Sender game. I just yeah. entered the entire game. Well, whatever, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But I mean, the matchup is very standard. It used to be like the epitome of skill matchups in the mid lane. They nerfed uh, Sender's early game when they did the little mini rework by giving her a crap ton of better late game. But her early game Q basically doubled in cooldown. So, um,. Oriana wins the matchup now, in my opinion, but it's still very, very, very skill. Like, 
but it, but it does favor the Oriana at least in the early levels, and her six and her team fights better. So yeah, that's what you're thinking. Also, the Ori Shockwave combo with Malphite and Vi is uh, quite good. With Vi, yeah, very good. Uh, Oriana was like Smurf one v nine pick here, like it, like it, in theory, right? It is just yeah. really really good, and also. This is like our. Uh, I mean, it's just one really in... good. It's just a really good draft. Yeah, it's like our one in five, one in six games where I like actually don't lose my mind during draft phase and just pick the right things. I feel yeah, like this is just what what cool. we are missing from kit and grooming service and our draft tech is. I feel like I generally know the right champions to pick. Uh, Mason is just a lot better at uh, bullying our players into picking the right champions. Um, <laughs> I hope he hears that one. It's uh, super true. <laughs> Uh, also, just a heads up, Mason is uh, still asleep, so uh, we might have a, a funky fresh podcast tonight with a, a new fresh co-host. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe he Me? will wake up. Eyes? Um, sure. If, if he's chance. asleep, you're in. Perchance. Huge. Okay. Uh, anyway, or a good pick. Uh, I do agree with the uh, ideology with the Syndra here. Um, yeah, that's a good pick here. Uh, yes. Jonah I'm is arguing I'm, I'm uh, with me. On the pick. Yeah, Jonah says uh, he will play um, Lulu. Um, I said he. <laughs> we need him to jungle, <laughs> so he's not allowed to. Um, we will be getting. Him... Well, he... No, he could play Ivern. He could play Ivern in the jungle, and then like you have it for the team. You have the combo for the team fight, like the Zarian Chanter. True. But, and then uh... Eric O plays in here. I'm literally one v nine in your draft for you, and Eric O, who's a really good engage player, can still play engage because the support is coming from the jungle. And Shit. then, yeah, so you don't That's need crazy. Jonah. All right, Jonah, yeah. listen to this. <laughs> yeah, you don't need Jonah on, like, Vi or Wukong engage because you have Eric O on the engage, and then you have him play Ivern. But I just Huge wanted to all your drafts for you. Huge tech. I'm loving this. Um, You're welcome. Okay, Jonah argues he, he, that he also wants to podcast, so maybe, maybe we could do a try. Um, no, he can do it. We'll have to see. <laughs> okay. Um, I like watching them more. Showing my clients. Okay. Uh, Jonah... You can hop in. You can have the spot if Mason is a little sleepy boy. May happen. It happened last week. Um, again, we're being very careful for invades here. Um, we have the later game comp. Uh, the, the Ori Zeri is probably just going to outscale. Um, GP, uh, Syndra Kaisa also scales quite well. Um, but Zeri is, uh, she has her Zeri moments, you know? And the longer the game goes, the higher likelihood of a Zeri moment happening, right? Especially since we don't have any like point and click CC, like we have more. It's a lot easier, you know. Zeri can like flip a Syndra, like QW, or I mean QE, right. or like, or, a, like anything like, Gragas has, or any, Rakan. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Shoot. a lot of a lot of your CC is just throwing yourself or objects at people. Um, mm -hmm. Especially this game, we have um, Red Pet. AP Gragas and not tank Gragas. So like another really big thing is like we don't have like like spoiler he goes like AP Gragas, but yeah. So we have like no. Oh, he has Dark Harvest, line. I think. Yeah, we, we, yeah, with Dark Harvest. Like, we have no. Yeah, we have no front line. It's like so we basically have to. Our engage comes from like Rakan suiciding himself into the Zeri or like Syndra hitting like a miracle like QE. So. Uh, there, there is some. Yeah, I mean, I think that arise in our draft. But... <laughs> yeah, I think this game kind of falls in the same category where you guys want to do um, stuff early, but uh, if you mess up, there's no Mountain Soul with uh, Garen, who just he's a champion. That's fair for sure. Um, to kind of yeah. round yourself out. Um, I mean, we have like an early game based team comp, but like with two losing lanes, like losing solo lanes, so it's yeah. bad. Okay. Uh, PB does go in, hits a knockoff onto Eric, uh, does not Both get anything. Wide, unfortunate, but... Am I thinking of this game or one of the norms we played yesterday where the first blood is like eight and a half minutes? I don't know. Okay, you might be in oh. for like a boring five and a half minutes, uh, whoever uh, has, has a little stream turned on. I'm basically watching this for the first time myself. Uh, I don't remember anything that happened in this other than when I when I did something when I was level 16. That's that's about the only thing I remember from this entire game. So 
I am out trading pretty heavily in the mid lane right now. I fixed my laning way better compared to last game, but not too big of advantages coming from it yet. Jungler is clearing towards opposite sides. Vi looking towards the GP. Drag is looking down, but yeah, I mean, I think Great. both of these make sense. You're targeting the uh, mm -hmm. most notorious player on the enemy team. Yeah, essentially, basically. And uh, just looking at it from right now, it looks like top lane has a lot more higher percent chance to work just because of where the lane is. And exactly. then top lane is pretty pushed. Like, it's more even now, but yeah. Gank's gonna come through. Volt Breaker comes out from the Vi, lands a punch, and... Flash is burned, makes the Vi respawn, but First Blood does go to the Vi. Yep, okay. I was thinking of a Norm's game then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. also I feel like maybe someone else was playing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All the games. Too many together. games yesterday. I, I, I forgot, man. I yeah. played six, two game threes. Holy. There's a lot, a lot of games. Yep. Vi is looking towards the mid. I don't have my push, but. Uh, just I'm doesn't want to risk it. Part. We have no vision on uh, Gragas here. We don't know he's in this mm -hmm. push. Um, yeah. We kind of guess it, and I think play a little back. But then I walk up to grab a minion. Oh, this this one is this one's kind of funny. Um, Eric goes, "I got the cannon minion," and then uh, PB missing it makes us really go for it. He walks in a little bit close to get it, but now ignites burn down. He has to flash. Um, Gragas is looking for a kill, but since he's thresh and he's tanky, we just walk out. Um, Jonah Good is here boy. for a regank, but you guys just get out. Syndra still has push. I mean, nothing will come of it, though. I, I did notice this is like the first phase rush Orianna I think I've seen in like two and a half years. Uh, I, I forgot that that's like a rune that not Rise is allowed to go. I'm not going to lie. Garen! It's... True, Garen! <laughs> See, all the people in my, like, oh, in my games, they just go, uh, conquer because they don't like winning so i forget True. that he goes face rush True. gp racking up a meaningful poke i think on this uh, uh for sure surely, surely he uh... does not just get a shield back yeah. <laughs> i don't know the i GP think he is our farming he's he's about yeah 20 cs up up Almost got a good freeze going on. It's pushing back now. I think he can barrel the entire wave on accident or something, trying to do something. Yeah, he is doing quite no well, but Gragas is but coming Gragas for a is gank coming now. From behind. Malphite does have flash available. Explosive cast comes out. Yeah, he's just gonna burn it. Obviously, I'm after the flash. But the ulti really comes down. Yeah. And the kill goes over to the GP. Really well played by uh, Mike, holding his body slam for the flash. Uh, I guess Malphite just pulled the trigger, but good cross map, you know, Earth Sharks, you know, jungler's topside. We have, we have push on bot. Let's just take the objective for free. And mid's on a base timer, like, completely free. Looks for a little bit of an invade, but, you know, there's nothing here. We can get yeah. the probes. We need uh, to watch Malph 6 here, though, especially with how low Blake is. Uh, Malphite has no flash, but um, very heads up play by Blake here to just recall and not risk it. Did not oh, notice that PV did that, but Vigus could just punch <laughs> all the little rocks and get them. Um, Jonas in a bit of a rough spot, but, uh, you know, he should just be able to get out, especially with Eric coming to help. Um, the W from Alex there is really good, almost picks up the kill, but Jonas just going to get escorted out by um, Eric there. Alex, oh, unfortunately, burning flash, trying to get in range for the auto, but just misjudged how far the Vi punch put him. Kind of just burn flash for fun. Uh, eh, unlucky, but yeah, I mean, it, it happens, you know. Crush summoner spell. Who needs it? Yeah, he doesn't need it. He, he's got all the he's got all the movement speed he could ever need. Yeah, uh, I actually really enjoy playing the game on this champion. I have done nothing but right click minions or and press Q it. on minions. I love it. I love it. I love. I have not minions. base. It's my favorite. Thing I bought ever. cull, and uh, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> This is the best part of Zeri. You simply just don't interact with the entire game until you finish your call, and then you buy a lot of items and hope that you do things. Very Gragas fun. coming for a repeat gank here. Uh, yeah. Uh, Joel has ulti here though, and Jonah's here to match, Jonah so this fight should be good for us. 
Yeah, no no GP ulti is just gonna result in the Malphite ulti, and it's just gonna be a double kill for Star Rift Sharks. I mean Yeah, the positioning just, just of the flash there for Mike was a little bit unfortunate. If he doesn't burn flash, then I think Joel still needs to burn the ult to kill him, but he's not gonna hit GP as well with it. Um yeah. not something that you'd think of in the moment, but uh mm -hmm. interesting to note sure. while you're watching. Just Huge shockwave here just knocks you pretty far down. Uh, basically prevents you from staying in lane because Vi can just show up and take the rest of your health away very easily. I think I ult her back for fun. <laughs> I think I literally like I, I get I, that offended me. I think I got mad that he ulted me for like I was like that is a for fun ulti. I'm, I'm gonna ulti him back even though it won't kill for fun. <laughs> yeah. See now I want to see. I think I just wait for his stun. Maybe not though. He has like no meta. I think I like try and kill him. He actually lives on yeah. like, one or something. I'm pretty sure I, I burned Ghost remember. to try and make a play here. Um, we did not uh, get a hook. I think if we were super greedy and burned like flash hook ignite on the thresh, we maybe could have gotten something. But it's super not worth it. Um, yeah. No, as I was saying earlier, spent too many times clicking on minions, not enough time doing other things. So I have 20 stacks left on my call. I'm up 10 CS, but uh, I'm losing my damn mind. <laughs> Earth Herald summon mid, uh, yeah, this is what happened. Yeah, I like press control E to upgrade my ultimate, and then I like uh, just want to fight the Zeri that's like, I don't know, brain worms or something. Good dodge by uh, PB there. Staying out, of, uh, staying out of range. Yeah, we were swearing up and down Gragas was here with the way he was walking up. Um, really good buff. I kind of wish back a they just bit. killed that wave. Like that, that wave was just sitting on. It was like four melee or four range minions for Tara. I think there could have been a freeze, but yep. uh, like Joel is looking GP for a potential here. solo kill. His ult just came Ulti, back up. Yeah, ult is available and no flash on. Oh no, GP does have flash, but it's impossible to react from this range. It's just instant. Yeah. But decides not to burn it. I would let it rip. But yeah, I mean, I think the thought could be that you're early. holding. Uh, Chemtech is yeah. up in about a minute and uh, this early. Um, your okay. ult cooldown is going to be longer than a minute 20. Yeah. Here is another shockwave. The ults are traded, but there's a fight breaking out in the bot lane. PB almost gets out. Um, I finally got to press my ult button. Um, Thomas calls that play a little bit of rust on his end, but we are able to pick up a double kill on the bot side. Uh, we're going to go back and watch this, though. Uh, Thomas goes for it, accidentally walks too far, gets a tower shot. Uh, says he was considering flash autoing, but thought he was going to auto the tower, because... Um, Little Target known. champions only doesn't exist. Yeah. He could press tilde on his keyboard and then flash True. auto. Little flash little known out. secret. Uh, yeah. Thomas actually basically didn't play League for a year before this season, so he's a uh, he's warming back up. It'll take fair a game, fair game. Fair game. Fair game. He he almost mixed me. Yeah. I'm pretty uh, sure he getting, won season two on. of scrims and then hasn't played since. Whack. I don't know if he was on the roster for finals, but he was on the team. For sure. I don't know. Surely I mean, reuniting the uh, Thomas Joel synergy from Jiffy Diffy was the angle here. And Healy as well, I think. Jiffy Diffy. I don't know. One of the most goaded Scrims brands to date, I think. Joel, again, yeah. afraid to go in, just knows GP has the orange and the flash, doesn't want to risk uh, giving more and, kills over to Gangplank. And full Essence Reaver. Uh, I think I think the Malphite would lose at this point, just because of the Essence Reaver. Like, once he bases and gets his full Frostfire, it's hard to die, but at this moment in time, I think GP is spiking, especially with just uh, yep. how much health each Huge of them had bush respectively. Here. Um, I decide not to walk up to it, and Alex pokes his head out. We still don't know there's four in there. We think it's just the one. Um, Eric walks up, and he's just going to get blown up. GPL comes down. I'm trying my best to get out. I think I just have to burn the flash over the wall here. Um, did not want to risk dying there. Flash is expended, yeah, but GPLT also went down, so... Yeah, and now Joel sees uh, his window of opportunity. He's going for it. Does not have enough, though. It is going to get solo killed. I'm going to And Mike picks up the dragon. Good QE for me into the recon engage, which does result yeah. in. If I was able to pick down. up one in return here, yeah. uh, try my best to hit anyone, but I really want to play out of range of the rest of you guys here. Did not want to get popped there. Yeah. Um, I... Just got shield bow. Want to make sure it's up for a fight that I think we're going to win. Uh, that one was already lost at that point, so not worth it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm.
Very, very fair. Oriana got a two plates mid. So, I mean, that's like 300 and. I don't know, that's like almost 400 gold over to the Oriana. Sure. So. She should have Mythic in base. Uh, maybe. She yeah. pit stop for tier 2 boots, but. Speaking of tier 2 boots, Malphite also bought tier 2 boots. I was trying to figure out why he didn't have uh, Iceborne. That is the name of the item now, right? They they renamed it yeah, back to Iceborne Gauntlet. Iceborne, yeah, so it's Iceborne Gauntlet. I, I don't know. I mean, I like the Iceborne Gauntlet name better. I think it's good. Uh, it's It's got the, the lore significance to it, right? Um, there are three of you trying to make a play on Thomas, but he's just going to pop Phase Rush, and with his ball, he's just going to get out. Um, you don't really have threat on him there. Um, yeah, Jonah's looking for a wraparound play here, though. Could be pretty big. Um, he's dodging these Dark Spheres like crazy. Yeah, this is why the matchup is like kind of weird, because Cinder Balls are really really slow and if you just put your W as Orion on top of yourself and then just trade around your uh, shield and your Q really hard for Cinder to do anything post like a couple like a couple splinter upgrades she, she needs a little bit unless you just yeah. and Blake good, does good have flash, to bring the Blake. flash there um, he's also completed his entire wardrobe this game a um, lot awesome. of crit cloaks here hasn't quite yet finished the cull uh, Surely I win the cull race because I have more farm and not just because I bought it earlier, but uh, we can say what we want to say here, for sure. Uh, Jonah has cancelled his back three times at this point. Um, fourth now. Does go in. I don't know if Blake knew that he was there still, but now double ult is burned and Blake is going to fall. This part is really funny because they both wanted to give the kill to the other person. I'm down there in the bot lane screaming, anyone who can fucking get this kill, please just take it. <laughs> we need to not let him die and then yeah. get out before he get collapsed on, but yeah. um, definitely was a bit of a funny moment uh, on yeah. our team there. Pretzel was calling to stall as long as physically possible because we had the Gragas Recon moving, but I mean, they just... It's hard to stall for yeah. that long in a situation like that. Yep, and then once we see the uh, the Gragas Recon show, we know we can just push up and grab tower here. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to trade uh, the Rift Herald for it, but there's no Belveth in this game, so it kind of doesn't matter um, as much as it could otherwise. The tower for Rift Herald trade is pretty much even. Uh, because you guys haven't taken a lot of other towers, so it's not like we're going to lose an inner um, from it. I'm surprised no dive attempt on the Kai'Sa, just maybe a stray thresh hook. I mean, if you hit, I think you kill, but uh, I, I I think that's a like thing that we probably would have called for a dive there. Yeah, I mean, it's another one of those, like, don't want to risk missing cooldowns for a team fight. I want to make sure my shield that's bow fair. and ulti are up. Um, also, because our comp's just going to outscale, there's no reason to... Uh, Go for any int place that might flip the game and lose it. Surely we did not have that happen in the first <laughs> game. For <laughs> sure, learn from mistakes. Yeah, I think some of it is just being timid because of how the last game went. That's no, that's fair game. This is like the that's just like one of the things that comes with like series like this. Yeah, you know, game two situation, game one's fresh on your mind, so it's like oh, uh, we kind of like um, lost a game because of something similar to this. So let's just not flip it because we still outscale. So. Yeah. Something else could just be that a hook was thrown and Kaisa just pops the E and then why try yeah. again? Yeah. Uh, the first word dropped all game. I was able to uh, do the, the Zeri thing and just delete it. I fail it like five times in a row <laughs> for the rest of the game. It's really funny. Like this one, I miss. And then there's going to be another one in like two seconds, I think. It's kind of funny. That's your miss. I remember thinking about the game, I was like, how did that spear miss? Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered, but like... Yeah. That one does hit me. I isn't going to do too much. I do still have the shield bow available to me. This game is a infernal soul. So, very, very contested Drake. Yeah. That one I do get hit by. Uh, deals a lot more damage than the other one. I think partially because the first strike is up. Uh, at that point, I decide I took way too much damage, so I'm just going to leave and come back later. <laughs> well, the, 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 the first one, I, like, queued the ground and then stunned you, so only, like, oh. the E hit you. That one, I, that one I hit, like, the Q and the E. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, Thomas just, does get caught out there in a pretty unfortunate position. Um, really good engage the... from PB there, as well yeah, as the like, scatter. I wish I was, like, uh, Captain Flowers. Yep. He makes every Eric hits this one, but... <laughs> That was a crazy hook, but uh, there's nothing we can get from it, um, yeah, so that's kind of unfortunate. Mean, 
believe you guys are going to get the third Drake of the game. This is the Infernal Drake I was thinking of, or the Infernal Soul I was yeah. thinking of. If um, a lone thresh hits a hook, does it really hit at all? True. Tree in the forest conundrum. Exactly. I'm really just trying to get any poke I can. Um, honestly, I feel like playing Zeri on red side is just worse. Because uh, you have so many worse um, W angles for yourself. Uh, I pop the ulti, everyone tries to go in on me. Um, I'm spacing pretty well here, if I do say so myself. Pick up the shutdown onto you. Um, we're going. This is going to be the Zeri moment. I have two kills, picking up a third um, very soon. PB tries to get out, is not going to. Eric does fall to Alex, but that is a quadra kill for Zeri at 18 minutes. Very cool champion. Press uh, two keys, uh, the ghost and the ulti, and nothing else matters. Uh, Blake literally just teleports away from the Malphite, does not want to risk giving over a Zeri pentakill. I'm only allowed to have those in Nemesis draft, so... <laughs> yeah, that was a little... There. That was a little my fault. Uh, I kind of was like, she eat away, she has no E, she can't flip the wall. We should uh, go in now, and then Thresh hit a hook blind over the wall, and yep. ruined my life, and I couldn't press R. So Eric is a uh, good really player. Hard. So yeah, uh, that was my call, and kind of lost us the entire game. Uh, uh, potentially. I mean, we take the uh, very, very Fed bad. Zeri is now going to pick up some towers, because that's fun. I grab mid turret, and then we send me top, and I get top turret. Uh, I'm going to base on a disgusting um, amount of items here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is at least an item and a half, like a full item, probably another half of another one. So, yeah, the 502 Zeri, very, very big, but it, it's still winnable just because of the fact that if we can get the shutdown on, like, GP or something, and or Syndra, or Geisa even, like, it doesn't really matter who, if we can just get the shutdown, then we can get back in a good spot. We just need to win one team fight, and your team is, like, a one damage threat at this point, because... Uh, the Syndra's just insanely head of the, uh, Oriana right now. She just threw 1 and 2, up 30 CS, compared to the, uh, 0 2 0, so... I will it's, say, it's really I think just you're, uh, about the Zeri right now. Yeah, I think you're discounting Jonah a little bit here. The Essence Reaver Eclipse, um, Vi, is super threatening oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the without a. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does damage. It does a lot of damage. Yeah. It's different from the traditional build in that you really kind of need to just one-pop someone uh, to be useful, because you're not allowed to stay in fights as long as normal. Um, but I we do have the, the Malphite. <laughs> well, as, as a Lethality by Enthusiast, I disagree. Okay, it's never mind. Broken. It is it's bullshit. Broken. You are just as tanky. You are so tanky, and for what? Uh, the Eclipse Shield? I don't understand. Like, you build, you build defensive boots for the game, and you have an Eclipse Shield, and you just one-shot everyone. It's repulsive. Yeah. I mean, I will say I think the difference is you can't just press R and go in yeah. unless you're, like, giga-fed. Uh, you, That's but, very true. Uh, good news for us, we have a Malphite and a Thresh who can kind of initiate for us, um, which mm -hmm. is kind of nice. Very true. Uh, I was, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was just, like, looking at the character portraits and I saw Jungle of I, I forgot she built Lethality crit. Yeah, it was a really good call from Jonah this game. Mm-hmm. Really, really hurt. Yeah. Uh, next dragon is up in about a minute and a half. Um, I should have my ghost and ulti for it. Not gonna have the flash. Uh, that is a potential threat. Uh, cause now I don't have E and flash, so I just have an E. Uh, going to have to burn that to dodge something, presumably at some point, uh, and then whatever follows should be able to uh, kill me if the rest of my team does not play well enough to support me, as is the life of ADC. Yeah, that's kind of just the roll. In a shell nut. Jerk is spawning in about a minute, both teams pinging that out, so... Yep. I mean, the game is fight. just going to play out pretty slow, I think. Uh, neither yeah. team really wants to overforce anything. Uh, both of these teams are fine sitting back and scaling. It's just going to come down to whichever team team fights better uh, throughout the game uh, with these two compositions. Mm -hmm. And Rip Sharks does have a prio over pit currently, which is because they were just there first, which is really, really big in situations like that. Being, uh, like this, like uh, being first to pit is really important. And uh, we're just slower on the punch than y'all, so... Yep. We're able to deny Oop, GP barrel setup, and if we can spot people mm -hmm. coming out, we have a lot of ults to shut them down. 
it's hard to walk into champions like Oriana, Malphite, and Thresh. So especially Oriana, she just puts the like she can put the ball in like the where the river meets the land and the choke point, and it's just like. How are, you, how are you supposed to walk through this? Like, we walk through it, oh, she presses R, W, oh, well, we're all dead. Malphite also pressed R on top of the ball, so it's really, really hard to walk in right now. Yeah, like, or, I mean, like, GPL or, or, does right come down earlier, Mike goes into the pit, Joel's falling down low, the dragon is being contested, and Mike is actually able to pick up the steal. Joel knocks up three with his ultimate, but he's not able to get anything else here. Um, fight is breaking out. I believe I am about to fall to somebody. Yeah, Alex is able to get the shutdown onto me. Um, and this fight was pretty interesting. It's a 2v1. Um, your Seraph shield just expired, but Thomas goes in, gets some move speed, just gets burst by the scatter, but Eric hits the hook, and that's all we need to secure that. The more I watch this game, the more I realize I literally solo entered this entire game by myself. <laughs> oh my god, everyone in, everyone in my ear, don't go back in, don't go back, I can outplay this, gets hooked. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> There's two of you one potential. I, I have ulti because I didn't have to burn it earlier, and I was like, if I can just... Oh, I don't think we even know, uh, knew that. No, I don't know. I, I was like, saying I, be careful, I just, but I just as soon as Eric hit the hook, we knew. I just flash behind the hook, and I press R on the Orion, and she explodes, and then Thresh can't solo kill me. Ah! I, I, I had it. I had it, but I... Did. I mucked it up. Game hard when you don't have a shield bow and ghost... Then yeah, game my Seraph was procced. Yeah, my Seraph was procced. I didn't have my, like, 2,000 HP crutch shield. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't tell you? Well, you blocked 24 damage with the shield in that fight, so... It, yeah, literally nothing got blocked. I, I, it got procced by, like... Ludens, maybe? Or, I like, a stray Z Zeri? Zeri, 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 Ren Zeri Renans, I think, procced it, and then nobody hit me because... I don't. I didn't have Renan like, in that fight. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was just sitting on seal. I think it might have just been like a bounce a from my ult though. Yeah, I, I, it was like nothing. It was. Yeah. I, I even watched it in the fight get procked by nothing. I, I'm, pro I'm, 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 I'm like 90% sure it was a Ludens proc, like gotcha. from the Ludens. And I, I, I was, I didn't even notice that I didn't have it. I thought I had it when I was going into that 2v1 because I have diseases uncurable by modern medicine. Unfortunate. Uh, Eric is looking to go in here, throwing hoax blind over the wall. Unfortunately, not the same hit rate as Matt, but um, if anyone else has that, I gotta report him for the scripting, so. <laughs> is what it is. Um, and now I'm just the, uh, the resource funnel. Uh, you have more CS than me, and so does Blake, so. Um, definitely not out of this game. The gold gap is only a thousand, and if you factor in stats from the dragons, I think you guys are technically ahead um, in terms of just raw stats. Um, Joel is looking for this. Goes in with the ultimate, but I believe he's just going to die. Um, never Does mind. Get the flash. Does get the flash ulti yeah. out the gangplank. Very uh, good trade for uh, Malphite there. Yep. And Both Eric is getting kind of lit up, Aaron. but Gragas just does not have a lot of damage at this point in the game, despite going for the damaging build. Yeah. Not super... When everybody's about three items and you're a one and a half item Gragas, you're just not going to do any damage. It's pretty awkward to be like on that like level of power, I guess. Yeah. Especially with Dark Harvest Rune, like getting like almost no value from your rune if you're behind with dark harvest it's just like the worst rune in the game because you really need to snowball with it so yeah that was something called a lot and it's just like when am i supposed to do damage uh <laughs> That's funny. i don't know <laughs> i don't play gragas yeah the predator is usually what i like to go for um with gragas jungle i just think it's more consistent um less snowball reliance It's a good rune. Mm -hmm. Makes you run fast. That's always good. Yeah. In, inside, it was like definitely shit. So we just went tank this game since we have no front line, but. Yeah. Hard call to make sometimes, though. Yeah. It, it, it's just a. Hindsight's 20 20. Yeah. Blake goes for that, barely misses. Um, I've picked up the funny Tiamat item. Um, very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it on this champion. Um, it was like kind of not buildable for a little bit, but then they like nerfed her and buffed her and then nerfed and nerfed and nerfed and nerfed and then buffed and then nerfed and then buffed, uh, and now it's buildable. 
Um, so that's cool. Oak unfortunately goes wide. Yep, and we actually do spot you out there. Um, so Jonah just pulls the trigger, immediately followed by the Malphite ultimate. There's nothing you can do. The teleport's coming in um, behind by Thomas. Um, you're able to pick up a kill onto Eric, but I think the rest of you are just going to fall. Zeri's running in super quickly, um, and we are able to pick up four kills for one. Um, I think Jonah's just going to go start up the dragon. Uh, yeah. and this should be a pretty free uh, dragon into Baron for us. I've watched that play about five times. Uh, we had a pink ward on in Pixel, and somebody hit the ward, which gave vision of me, because prior to that, I was like, let me solo farm this wave mid because I'll hit level 16. And when I hit, I have enough stacks to where it'll give me the 120 stacks, like max stacks on oh. the 116. So I was like, let me get solo XP off that. I got it. I was moving mid because we were looking for a play. And then somebody hit the ward that we had a pink ward on top of and it showed vision to me while Vi was charging punch because she was looking at pretzel and then she's like oh fuck there's just a guy here i'll just kill him and it's just like oh my god we win if that doesn't happen oh it's so sad uh, i mean I've watched that over and over. i don't know if you for sure win if it doesn't happen but you definitely don't oh, yeah, lose on the spot like you do win. there yeah that's just the fight is unfightable but yeah. Th there's a fight there. It's not just a massacre. Yeah. I mean, I think at this point, because I was... Uh, my overgrowth had stacked quite a bit. Um, and the peel with Ori and Thresh on top of me. Uh, Zeri moment uh, is for sure on the table there yeah. again. Yeah. Really hard to reach the Zeri at this point in the yeah. game. And now I have uh, Titanic Hydra. So it's kind of just over. I have uh, 3000 HP. And I just hit everything on the map with uh, any QI. Too, so very silly. yeah I, I really like that build on Zeri it's so fun yep uh, this time I do actually just get caught out I think but um, Jonah's here to finish it up and uh, the pass through kill on the recon I think was kind of interesting actually already got it but um, I think you do end up mortal. living here except uh, Joel and, uh, off the TP think. runs in Malphite ults um, I do think you have a point there I think uh, if that fight didn't go the way it did um, we may not have had the stats to kill you after I just walk up mid and int, but... Yeah, the call there was actually, like, for me to not get hit by the hook on purpose, but to, like, Bait. if I get hit, if I get hit, it doesn't matter, because right. I have my entire team behind me, and we can just, like, maybe punish the Zeri, which is exactly what happened, and then we just yeah. lose, because, uh, a little down on gold at this point. Yeah. But, we do hold on, uh... Yeah, despite me pinging top tower like 8 billion times, we don't actually take it. Um, I thought my pings did damage. Uh, incorrect, unfortunately. You gotta, you gotta mind control your teams with the pings so that they do the damage. Yeah, I mean, I think going for that would have been a little flippy, especially with 500 gold shutdowns on both Ori and Jonah here. Um, a bit mm -hmm. rough. Uh, I was able to back and pick up a stopwatch, uh, which should prevent what happened from happening again, because instead of me dying and then my team showing up, I can simply press stopwatch and then my team shows up first. Yeah, at this point, your team basically has all the defensive items they need. Ori with the Seraphs and the Zhonyas, uh, Vi with the Death Stance, Eclipse, kinda, TM, Malphite being Malphite, and Zeri with the Titanic and the Shield Bow and the stopwatch, so it's really hard to find a pick at this point if you're uh, us, New York Nutbusters, so... Mm. It makes the game a little awkward to play. There's still like the chance that we can get onto the Zeri, but at this point, Oriana's strong enough to do damage. Can't just ignore her like we could earlier. She's like really hitting her late game spikes, and Vi is just shredding people because lethality yeah. and slash crit. Yeah, and Blake was on a ward there. Uh, so Jonah literally just goes, Blake's dead. Um, I just E yeah. down the entire wall. I'm not concerned about anything because, you know, Zeri moment. Uh, I popped the ult early running in. Uh, but we're able to just get two right away. Rickon is in such a bad spot at this point in the game. Um, I forget who picked him up, but uh, we just walk back, take the tower. You are a threat to us. Um, you just did like a third of Joel's health, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's kind of crazy. Um, this position gets a little bit rough for us. Jonah does end up falling, but uh, me and Joel just whack the turret and trust the rest of our team to finish you guys off. Uh, Thomas is able to get one, um, and now it is a 4v1. Eric goes in, forces out your Zonias. Uh, I don't know what I did there, but 
Uh, Eric's cage, very smart placement there, and then the Shockwave is able to grab PB for a second time during this fight. Um, and then we should just be able to finish the game off. Uh, Blake is going to spawn in soon, but I'm not sure how he stops this. He drops the ulti. Uh, Joel falls down low, has to ult out. Thomas is quite low as well. Eric um, is low as well, and we just walk out and didn't end the game. I forgot about that. Yeah, I kind of um, thought the troll ended there too. True. Uh, we are taking a reset here. Uh, your Infernal Soul is up in about 10 seconds, but unfortunately you have to wave clear because we do have backdoor threat with both Malphite and Orianna having TP. Um, I very intelligently reset the red buff and almost get hit by the Void Seeker, but instead I climb out over the wall and grab a honey fruit and I am back to chilling. I think I actually saw that Dark Sphere, so I uh, kind of tucked my tail between my legs and ran the hell away. I'm not trying to die. I do still have the stopwatch and the shield bow available, so it's going to be very hard for you guys to kill me, um, even if you hit everything, um, just because of the time that stopwatch allows us to play. Um, we go for the same play here. We go. Uh, Mike's been stealing our objectives all game, so we're just going to let him do it this time, and then we'll just pop Zeri ulti, and then he's going to die for it. Uh, I believe he goes in and steals it again, but uh, that's exactly how we calculated it. Uh, so we go in, uh, light you up, and mic up for it, and now we have a 5v3, uh, so we're just going to win the game. We'll just let him steal it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was Not kind a of a face. goofy call, but <laughs> uh, it was funny. Yeah, this was pretty funny. It's kind of gigabased. Yeah, and this time Blake is not able to stop us. Uh, does have the ulti still, but um, he's just going to stay in base, try his best to not die, and uh, we finish the game out. He actually just kills Jonah there, but, you know, for the culture. I actually get another Eric. kill on <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Saves the KD a little bit. Alright, who you give an MVP to for that game? I think I told you yesterday who my... Bro, I might be MVP was. for your team. Oh my god, watching that game hurt me. Holy crap. Real. <laughs> uh, I Personally, I would probably give it... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That one's weird, because it's like... Between you and Jonah, I think. Yeah, I, uh, said, I said Jonah after... Um, yeah, I would give it to either you or Jonah. The Vi... Put in a lot of work. Zeri did Zeri things. So right. I, I think they were both equally important. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just I, think I, the I, only I think reason... If I, to, if I, I think if I had to pick, I would give it to the... I'd give it to Jonah. He, yeah. he oppressed top lane really hard in the early game. Got Pretzel not out of the game, but made him way less of a factor. Uh, scrapped really well bottom where, like, when needed... Missed a few smites, but, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, Piosic won Worlds, and he missed right. every fucking smite, so, I mean, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, um, I think the only things making Jonah look bad that game are the, the missed smites, miss smites, and yeah. uh, the fact that he kind of for fun a little bit at the end of the game and had a few more that's, deaths than he may have otherwise, but... That's fine. I mean, he ended it doesn't matter. three deaths. He ended three deaths instead of, like, two or one death. I uh, he ended five, I think. <laughs> Wait, he ended five? Right. Okay, maybe he did for fun at the end. I didn't notice that. He, was, he had like yeah. two deaths the entire he ended, game. He ended 13, 5, and 14. Um, okay, he may have for fun like a three yeah. deaths for fun, but I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I think I, I think he played better than I did. Yeah, I, my, my job it. was made very easy that game by uh, a few of our members. Yeah. Um. All right, Uh. we are just going to kick it right into draft for the third game. Um. The bans actually did change for you, and Nivea is left up, uh, which makes sense because Thomas uh, is not actually Healy. They're different different people. Um, I forget what you banned last game. Um, we banned Vagar right. on three. Okay. They didn't want to play. They, they, I, I said to just leave up in Vagar, and they're like, we don't want to play against Vagar. And I was like, okay. That actually checks out. Um, but yeah, Vi banned this time, um, and we did the bans that we meant to do, or we didn't fuck up our bans. Um, these bands are different than what we were trying to do in game two and didn't do, but um, we were afraid of Blake locking in GP on R3 and then banning um, counters to it. Uh, so we just banned it, um, which I think is a reasonable uh, solution for us. Um, Zeri first pick comes through, um, which I think is completely fine. Uh, the champion is not exactly counterable. Um, there's a couple things that I feel like do a decent job. Uh, Varus is not one of them. Um, I think it's a pretty even matchup. 
Um, it really comes down to how well your supports play. Um, the Leona pick is pretty solid here, though, with the Varus. Um, it pretty much forces me to take Cleanse instead of Ghost, which does hurt my team fighting potential in the late game. Um, we lock in the Janna, which I feel like is a pretty good counter into that. Um, you're able to shield a lot of Varus's projectiles, and then you do have the counter engage uh, for Leona E. Um, and then we grab the Silas here. Uh, our thinking was that Varus, Leona, Ulti are very good for Silas, and it's a nice um, mid-jungle flex, because we weren't exactly looking to blind either mid or jungle individually, but blinding a flex pick for either was pretty solid. Um, we did perfectly predict that you were just going to slam Zoe, though, uh, because Zoe does quite well into Silas, um, and you're able to cover ban the Zoe uh, going into the second round. Yeah, I mean... Basically everything that you said. I mean, we just pick a Leona Varus into the Zeri because if you can lock down, you, you can outrange and outpoke the Zeri ever since they cut her range on her Q. So she's no longer like Ezreal where she can just farm safe. She actually has to put herself in a decently, not risky, but like just to play the game to farm instead of right. like what she used to be able to do. So Varus can punish that. Uh, we we think that Varus is pretty decent in the Zeri. Like it's not like super unplayable for Zeri. No, it's not that bad. But it's like right. uh, it. it we think it's very, we think it's Varus favored. And then Leona, I mean, it just gives that engage, like, that go button, and PB is really good at just hitting that go button, so. Right. It's like, might as well pick it, and then uh, we wanted to drop jungle down to 4-5 to just let me play Zoe, because we, we even figured it was probably going to be a Silas jungle, but Interesting. it's just like, we were just like, they're going to ban Zoe if I don't play it, and right. it's game three, and they didn't ban it in 1, 2, 3, so I just want to play Zoe this game. I I'll play it into whatever they pick into, like, whatever they pick on 4 or 5. I, I know it's Jungle Silas, but I think Jungle Silas kind of sucks in 5s. Like, super bad, so we're just going to... Potentially gonna... fair. <laughs> so we're just going to, like, let them think that they're outsmarting us by putting the Silas jungle instead of just letting him like, sit under tower or whatever against the Zoe and picking a real jungler, we'll just let the Silas go jungle. Pick Lee Sin, which I hated, by the way. I didn't like that. I, I'm i sorry, Mike. I hate when you pick this character. You flip the game level, like, two, and if you win the flip, we win the game. If you lose, we lose. It sucks. I, it's so stressful. But it, the Lee Sin invaded the Silas because, oh, like, is, shh. So like Mike is oh, good. Oh yeah. Game well, not started, yeah. Well, this, no, but, but this is what we were talking about in draft. Like this is what he will do. Oh, okay. And then he'll 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 just invade the Silas on like his like blue buff. He'll like meet him there. It's not exactly where they met, but kill him and then the game's basically over for Silas. Can't play the game anymore. So I was just like, fuck it, bro. I muted myself and I was just like, ah. But it, it Mike did what he wanted to do, so it is nice that Mike's Lee Sin got the work. He got to prove all the haters wrong, including me. He stuck at the main. True. Uh, then we grab the Malzahar, um, because we go, we don't want to play Silas into Zoe. Um, I very think fair. the Silas uh, mid-jungle flex is actually very active if you don't pick Zoe, because then we can cover ban it um, immediately after. It was a kind of a gamble. Um, also, just uh, poor draft planning. We kind of ran low on time. Um, but... Uh, Mal's, I think, is considered a very good matchup into Zoe, but as you said earlier, you just think it's a shit champion, which I think is honestly pretty fair. Um, Healy's terrible. had a lot of success on it in the past, but I think he's more used to playing it in fives, and I think he just has a bit of a different play style um, than think, Thomas, I think, and I think we kind of used it interchangeably, which yeah. sh potentially shouldn't have happened. Yeah, I think the problem with Mazahar, uh, like, even not just, like, looking at him in terms of being, like, garbage, is just, I feel like he didn't really fit on theme with your champions that you had already picked it's like you're kind yep. of playing like a you're kind of playing like a jana protect zeri comp with like a silas flex and then you end up making it silas jungle so then silas like really wants to go in but like right. silas can't he can't gank malzahar pre-6 so like and like yeah silas, i mean i think like, silas i, I, it, I think it, silas conflicts really with zeri jana i think is the take here um, Silas does, but like Malzahar, I think does more. Just right. Because... I mean, it it forces us out of a real composition. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And I then mean, I, th I think it's weird. It just makes it just makes the yeah. whole thing weird. Like it doesn't make it unplayable. It just makes it awkward. Yeah. And I think Shen I is mean... actually 
decent tier because you can protect like the Silas the and Sari as you go good. in. The is good. Um, I think the Shen is really good here. Yeah. It's also a much better blind pick than us uh, blinding Cho'Gath into you game three um, last series, uh, which we got promptly punished for. Um, I do believe the Shen uh, Cho matchup is like slightly Shen favored, um, but obviously if Blake is picking the Cho'Gath into the Shen, he's comfortable with it. Um, so I don't think that really means much. Um, I think we were just calling we wanted tank top laner, and right. Pretz was like, I guess I'll play Chogart. I love Chogart. And I was like, okay. Yeah. I mean, so, the the bit of interestingness there is that uh, Chogath into Silas is kind of funny. Um, Silas can just steal yeah. Chogalty and get a little big, um, which we may, we may, may or may not see during the game. Yeah, I don't even think we thought about that. I think it was just, a, oh, we need tank. Uh, we banned all the other tanks because Blake didn't want to fight a tank. Right. With crap, I guess we'll play Cho'Gath. You know, it, it happens. It happens. I mean, yeah, I would, I would give draft, like, advantage to New York Nutbusters on this one, but the Malzahar can shut down, like, Lee Sin, I guess. I don't know that champion. Yeah, I mean, I think I, this I, is I just think, another really game like the go. other two where if you guys get ahead, um, it's, we are just really completely screwed. Play. But if not, I think we have uh, pretty good winning chances just because of um, I think, I think a lot of so good late game than champions. The last one, just because last time we didn't have like any CC or yeah. lockdown or frontline, we were missing a lot in that last draft. And this time we have Leona Chogath and Lee Sin Kick, so we actually have things to get onto the Zeri other than Rakan trying to kill himself and looking for a miracle. So uh, this, I think this game, if going late, is still fine for us. But yeah. if we get ahead early, it should be very hard for y'all to play. Yeah. Just based off the champion's picks. Yeah, I mean, I would argue against um, your team having a lot of ways to really lock me down. Um, just because uh, it's still Zeri. Um, and the Janna will kind of stop a lot of them from happening. Um, but I think uh, our like main AP carry being a Silas instead of an Orianna does mean that the CC matters like a lot more, though. Because mm -hmm. um, Ori can play from range and kind of do the same thing Zeri does, um, which kind of neutralizes your CC. Uh, but Silas uh, cannot dance around the edge of the fight. He actually has to be um, super far in. in. It. Yeah. Yeah. Both junglers stand, uh, clearing very standardly, just doing red into Krugs. And just basically marrying each other. Mid, mid lane has push, which is to be expected in Zoe versus Malzahar in early game. Shen also has push, again, to be expected. Surprised the Varus lane doesn't have push, but I, just kind of sitting in the middle. I, I think it eventually will push. Yeah, I mean, so it's, in a, it's in a pretty rough spot for me to try and farm, so I'm not sure if that was, like, intentional or not, but I have to it eat probably, a lot of my health bar to stay even, so... Yeah, it probably... It's just the advantage of playing the, um... The var. Speaking of advantages being taken, Lee Sin is hunting in the jungle. Does burn the ward hop early because he accidentally went over the blue buff wall. Finishes off the wolves. Silas is on the run, pop sweeper, but he is less than half health while Lee Sin is full, basically. Fight is trying to be taken. Malzahar's under tower, so he can't help, and first blood goes over to Lee Sin. Just good 1v1, just kills him in the jungle, exactly, you know, as planned from draft. Yeah, I think it's interesting oh. to note that Silas did have the opportunity to just simply walk out down to tower. Yeah. Um, oh, that was not taken. It was something we discussed uh, in game. I'm not trying to flame anyone. Uh, just there was an attempt to win the fight, and I think it was pretty close. But um, Lee Sin's execute damage on the Q is just uh, way too good. Unfortunate. Uh, that was funny. I lived on 20 health. Nice. Um, super calculated yeah. for sure. Definitely not um, another well straight line dodge for me today. But <laughs> also just a. Uh about that 1v1. Uh, Lee Sin had Conqueror, so he's healing and doing more damage. Sure. And also, with the Omni Vamp that Lee Sin gets from his E, his W, I don't know, I don't play Lee Sin. But the Omni Vamp that he gets means that he just heals more than, like, the one burst that Silas gets early game, because he yeah. doesn't have enough CDR. Flash is burned by the Silas. Uh, camera's not down there, because yeah, I don't know, but... It was nothing super exciting. Um, he's okay. just able to pick up the That's Scuttle Crab. Contesting for Scuttle Crab. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, it that away. was the correct flash because if you don't yes. get it, that's yeah, four yeah, members that are going to kill flash. you. 
Yeah, you have to flash that. That's that was a good flash. Yep. Mid lane, he, kind of boring. Maybe could eat. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mid lane, it's just a miles of hard lane. Yeah. Both laners with TP. Neither really looking for kill threat. No. Yeah. I mean, every member of our team is down in CS. Um, and at least ends up a kill, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, Joel is looking for something here, but he is just going to get away. Um, but no kill is on the table. Uh, Blake uh, playing pretty well here. Yeah, first Drake is spawning in about 10 seconds. Leeson looking like he's clearing up towards his Raptors in his top side while um, Silas is going more bot side centric. It is Cloud Drake though, so I don't think expect it to be super contested. I, I literally don't remember anything that happens in this game after that first blood kill, I'm not gonna lie, so. Yeah, me neither, to be honest. I can I can cast very unbiasedly uh, in terms of no spoilers now. Yeah, I um, was just <laughs> playing like Nightmare Simulator, um, as seen here. Um, oh, yeah. Again, I have to burn some here. Uh, burn the flash there, and I do Leeson get taken out by the Leeson. Um, for what it's worth, I'm pretty sure I don't die for the rest of the game. Spoiler! Unless it's not, I literally have no idea. But Leeson does opt to I mean, I, I, don't think, I don't think it tells you anything. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh, Eric is looking for a room here. Um, not Wait, sure how much you can really get done on Janna, but... Uh, if you walk up in range to get Mal's ulted, maybe there's something there, but uh, Silas is not here to back it up, so it's a bit rough. Especially when I have, uh, I mean, I could get Malzahar flash ulti, but I, I don't I don't even die if that happens. He doesn't have enough mana to use all his spells. That's why I was so confident on just nothing happening there. Little Go trade on. going on top lane, but, you know, top lane trades are top yeah. lane trades. Uh, I get a fat ass wave there. It was kind of nice. Uh, I killed like five minions with a single auto attack. Kind of cool. Noam did point out that Leeson W2 is the Omni Vamp. I knew this, of course, but simply reciting what Noam said. I just think it didn't matter. Leeson is a garbage champion. No one in the server should be faking them. You're not SOFM. Or Canyon, or whoever. There's the fuck you no way, there's no way we're talking about Leeson players and SOFM is the first person ah, nice, you saw. My Knight's Foul Goat. Like, what? No way SLFM is the one, <laughs> but like, of any, like, you could have said Tion, you know, the guy that won the world, like, nope. one tricking me like, in. But you I, said, that guy. I said Canyon afterwards. I you like could Canyon. have said Owner. Owner is like the guy in the LCK that plays Lee Sin. Like, okay. Canyon is not known <laughs> for his Lee Sin. Canyon plays Canyon in Nidalee. <laughs> That's what he's known for. He won Worlds and got the Nidalee skin. Uh, you, you fell for the bait. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> and uh, you know who else fell for the bait? Uh, Joel fell for the bait and got killed by uh, Mike and Blake Undertower. I'm actually having a stroke that you said SOFM. It was funny though. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we all know that there's only one player you're allowed to refer to with Viego. Closer. Yeah, yes. JJ didn't win worlds on that character, I don't think. No. That's why he has the uh, Graves world skin, for sure. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Quandary has the Vladimir one. <laughs> no, he has Viego top. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I understand. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this uh, mid lane is not very interactive uh, for you. Uh, the little minions are very good at blocking the sleep bubbles. Um, yeah, and if you even if you hit the bubble on Malzahar, he can just press the button and they'll run at you in a straight line, which means that like if you try and queue, you have to find a weird angle, and it's just yeah. not worth. Like you, you get hit by the minions while you do that, you just take more damage than it's worth. So you just last hit the minions because they give you two gold, and then you just out farm him and you out scale him because True. everybody on your team buys QSS that matters, and then his champion doesn't work anymore. It's like the worst thing ever. I think he's so bad. <laughs> Did anyone on your team I, even buy QSS this game? No. <laughs> okay, I didn't so. think so. <laughs> um, yeah, so we do lose the Rift Herald here. Um, Lee Sin is very far ahead. Um, it's very hard to contest him here. Um, the top side did not work out very well for us this game. Uh, power of red side or something. Um, 
feels like the top lane matchup is very important uh, in our specific matchup, and the Shen blind is not working as well as we had hoped, but um, part of that is Lee Sin just getting a lot of work done too, makes it harder um, for the yeah. lane to go as it might. PB's like E, like, touched his little tip there, but um, did not work. I believe Eric's able to save Thomas here. Pretty good Janna yeah. ultimate. But, good, uh, Jonah's Janna now here with the Cho'Gath ulti. Um, should Is just it? be able to finish him off. Oh, good flash by Kim Tech Lamar, but... Yeah. Silas does have flash available, yeah. We'll just be a flash and a grip of E. Yeah, he's gonna fall, but Lee Sin does go back in with a Q2. Kick was yeah, expanded. Everyone's here for Rift Sharks. We're looking to make a fight. The Zeri ulti comes down. Lee Sin... Uh, alt is force, and I believe uh, this kill Nothing just doesn't happened. happen. Yeah, because uh, PB has flash still. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, in comms when your entire team uh, jumped the wall, you ever seen Markiplier play Five Nights at Freddy's for the first time? Uh, I think I've seen clips of it. Yeah, that was us. Uh, oh, what? What? Here? Go away! Go away, you weirdos! Which does transition into y'all getting first Cloud Drake, but uh, Alex was allowed to freeform bot lane. Yeah, see, I first. think the problem this game is that the brain worms got to me and I forgot that I'm not allowed to do anything until, like, I finish my call. So I started running around the map, I, like, ulted and, like, auto-attacked people, and it didn't do any damage because I didn't complete my items. Yeah, Zeri pre-1 item is... Pretty useless. Yep, and you hit a really good sleep uh, yeah. here, and it's just set up. Um, I don't know what Jonah's able to do here. It's just gonna be a frag. Yep, and now the mid lane matchup doesn't matter anymore because you got gold outside of it, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is basically just. I mean, Zoe is like a one item champion, she's especially hard at one item, so, I mean, any. Like, you'll be useful as long as you're not behind when you're hitting about one, one and a half items, like when yeah. everybody else is hitting one and a half items. So, I mean, this is why I just think Malzahar is bad, because, like, the early game champions can just use his minions to farm to try and get their items earlier, and the late game scalers can hit his minions to scale faster, and then he has zero kill pressure outside of flash ulti or somebody walking up and he ulties while his jungler's here, but uh, we worded pretty good this game, so we... Not knew where Jonah was the entire game because I just thought it's a lie, but we had a general idea and he was never really, at least up to this point in the game, and this is like, you know, about when laning phase is getting ready to come to an end, so nothing really happened in lane, so. Yeah, I mean, I think you played around the pick very well. Um, I think we are hoping it would be some sort of surprise pick, but Eric gets caught out here. Um, another really shot. good route by PB. Yeah, the ulti just came down, and then... What is the name of Leona ulti? I'm trying to remember. Uh, Donnie? No, that's... Nope, uh, that's Senna. Uh, solar yeah. Flare. Solar Flare, yeah. yeah he shot okay. the Solar Flare on his head, and... Yep. I get to uh, get clowned on stream, because all my ultis are bound to E. Why? Because uh, uh, that's the ultimate key. R is just your third ability. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. Jonah's looking for another Cho'Gath stack here. I don't remember if he gets it yeah. or not. Um, it, it, probably? It yep. Yeah, it, it is gonna go down. Yep, and something Blake has completed Jack Show the Protean, so he's gonna yeah. be very tanky now. It's something we noticed. He really didn't like taking many ulties other than Cho'Gath ulti. He, he wanted to be big. Yeah. I don't know, that's something we thought about later in the game, because we were kind of on board with the stack up the Silas, uh, become um, like a nice more front line to synergize with the Shen, but um, I think a few more extra taken like Varus or Leona ultimates could have been much better for mm -hmm. the each. Especially since you like set it in draft earlier, like uh, you picked it right. you picked it into the Varus Leona showing, and so far at least, I don't think he's taken either of the ultimates. Yeah, no, it's just been Cho'Gath so far. Yeah, it's just been Cho'Gath. I think it's like fine taking Cho'Gath like this, but uh, I think it would be really smart actually if he adapted to all the health that he's getting and built a Demonic Embrace. True. That would have been interesting. Uh, I, think, I think that would have been really smart because he would have been like a pseudo tank. Speaking of pseudo tanks, looking for a dive onto the Shin. Shin decides to go back in, pops the E, silence. Knockup does go wide. Cho'Gath does have available, uh, it does have Feast available, so this could be a potential dive, but it looks like, uh, 
Joel is just gonna back out. Yeah. Very smart, especially, you know, PB's off map and he happens to be topside. Good bubble by me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, you gotta be your you gotta be your own number one biggest fan. True. I just completed the call. Very important. Fifteen minutes into the game? <laughs> yeah. I guess you were running around the map though, so it makes sense. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm up CS slower. on Alex, so surely that means anything. Um, you're yeah, about like 137 CS, so... I mean, this is kind of what I was saying earlier, like, I just forgot to stay bot and farm. Um, I'm roaming a lot this game. I'm now headed towards this fight. Um, I think I just felt like we were getting behind, uh, so I need to do something to impact the map. Um, I feel yeah. like I really struggled to zap to late game Zeri back to early game Zeri. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem that I have when I play, like, 80 carries in solo queue, is, like, all the attack speed, mainly. It's, like, right. adjusting from being able to just machine gun somebody down to just, like, not being able to do that can feel, like, really weird. Right. Yeah, Eric uh, actually walks right next to the bubble, doesn't get hit. It was pretty, pretty solid from yeah. him there. The next dragon is up. We have the first one, um, so looking for a potential second. A little bit of chip damage onto the Shen. Yep. Just, you know, get what we can get before the uh, dragon responds in about 10 seconds. Yeah, I think our macro is a little bit questionable here. Just because we have the Shen um, here, uh, even though he still has ulti available, so we're letting um, Blake get free farm on the top side of the map. Yeah. Uh, and we aren't really getting any initiation done with the taunt. It's really hard, especially with how fast like the waves are just being insta shoved because you have Nalsapa on your team and right. you can't not insta make the waves go away, so we can just collect the waves on Earth. Yeah, and now Joel does get caught out. Uh, I believe he's just going to get chain CC to death there. There's nothing much we can do. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for anything. Corruption, dude, I'm drop on not able to pick that up because Mike burns the flash and now it's just a disengage. Um, a good ulti by and the, I think uh... Alex doesn't even die here. Oh, yeah, actually, he does. Never mind. <laughs> Thomas gets something. Uh, you went up a bit too far, but you got the cleanse, so it doesn't matter. PB's now going in, and so's Mike, getting some damage down. And now Blake's here for the fight, um, getting some damage down. The Cho'Gath ulti is stolen again. Um, not going to be used, I don't think, maybe on a minion at some point. But I think that was the other thing. I think Cho'Gath ulti got held a lot and not used, which just prevents him from stealing as many ultimates. Mm -hmm. Especially, I mean, it's not as impactful right now because he's not level 11 yet, but like right. post level 11, you can get like two ulties off in a team fight, and like post 16, you can get like three or four. I, I, it has a 20 second cooldown, level 16. Yeah, it's Ask me disgusting. if it's fair, you, you don't want my opinion. I hate that character. But. Uh, yeah. Are you not excited for uh, the Mage Seeker video game? No, I like roguelikes. Uh, that'll be hype. That'll yeah, be hype. I'm really excited it. for that as well. I'll buy it and play it. I like Silas as a character. I think he's a little broken and has been a little broken for a long time. Okay, well, at least he can't jungle anymore. That was crazy when he could flex in multiple... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you little trickster, you. Yeah, we did push y'all off of uh, out of the pit, even though y'all technically won the fight just because... We took our resets and Cho'Goth was just standing in pit menacingly, and I, um... I guess he just didn't want to try and flip into Cho'Goth ulti on the dragon. And Leona was there hovering too, and I was coming out of base, so... And Alex was respawning, so... Yeah, I think we you fell know, into the trap right that by. Mason was pointing out, um, on the cast yesterday of buying hard steel when behind. Um, it's a bit unfortunate, you just don't have the time to stack it up in lane. Yeah, yeah, um, it's, it's the worst. It's the worst item in the game if you're not like I, I think it's a snowball item, and otherwise it's the worst mythic in the entire game. It, yep, it just, I agree. It's really it's really hard to find value out of that item unless I mean if you're snowballing, you can get insane health numbers, but and it I think you have to adjust your build too. Like I think Shen uses um Titanic Hydra pretty yep. decently, so you have to go something like that. But yeah. Mike does not want you to have blue buff. Okay, funny story about this. Number Apparently, I, I didn't know this. I was muted for the last 10 minutes in this game. I didn't oh know God. that I muted myself on Discord. And I asked him, I was like, hey, can I have this blue buff? And then he took it from me. And he's like, oh, if you told me you wanted it, then I would have gave it to you. And then uh, and then PB was like, yeah, a taxi. I, I don't know if you know this, but you've been muted for like 10 to 12 minutes. That's uh, really funny. It's okay. You haven't like, really been like interacting with things in this game, so it probably didn't matter. <laughs> it kind of mattered. There was some plays we were trying to set up. I thought everybody just thought I was stupid. Like, Surely. <laughs> if you actually uh, watch your minimap, 
And look, I'm gonna stand still on this tribe. But this is me tabbing out, and uh, like right here, I tab yeah. out. I'm standing still. That's me unmuting myself. That's funny. Uh, so, so I stand there for like 10, 15 seconds. Damn, you don't have the keybind for muting. SMH. I actually do. Yeah. Oh, thanks. That's You're crazy. Welcome. I I can't do it because I don't have a keybind for muting myself on OBS. <laughs> So oh, I can beat myself true. for you, but uh, the stream true, wouldn't true, be here. Yeah, and Heart Seal does give Joel a nice 55 health per hit, but um, unfortunately, it's just a uh, little late. Tickles to start Jogak. Yeah. yeah. Backing it, you know, like almost 20 minutes in the game, yep. you get your first. But stack Jonah is stack. here, um, looking to get another Chogat stack. Um, I believe this one he might not actually get. We have your TP yeah. coming in here to kind of uh, disengage from it. Yeah, the call here was actually. Did y'all see me on that TP? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, the call was like that you shouldn't know I'm here. So we're probably, so, because we were gonna, I was gonna TP to help, and then we were gonna try and look for a pick after, you know, we just, like, we fully disengaged, but... Yeah, I mean, I think at that point we'd guessed that there was backup coming, but, uh, now yeah. Eric's a little out of position, gets caught, and actually gets saved by the Shen ulti here. Um, Cho'Gath not getting enough done there, but uh, Eric's ult gets immediately interrupted by the Q. Um, and I don't think we're able to get any of you here. Um, we were fighting and I was not present. Um, I'm not exactly even strong here either. I have like an item. I was trying to get back into the game, but um, now unfortunately I don't get waves or a turret. Um, and y'all are still just farther ahead. We got the. There's no Cho'Goth OT for this Baron, but I mean, we, we have Smite, so. Yeah. Turn at this and then, you know, try and get our resets off. Dragon spawning in about minute 50, so by the time we do this and base and get back on the map, it'll be up and. Yep. Oh, you actually meant to do a Varus Q for the, for the uh, Baron. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Varus Q, Smite. I mean, if Same you ask yeah. it, it's literally. I mean, it's just, it's just better Smite. I mean. True. Not me making salty disses at the fact yep. that he And now throw. Eric does get caught, but I don't think you're going to be able to get the one shot there. I'm trying to body block for him. Um, that said, you would probably proc my shield bow, which I think happens a bunch of times when I try to body block people and then half my health goes away. But Yeah, I think body blocking as an AD carry is pretty bait as Zoe, because, like, yeah, I won't one shot you. It's hard to like, true one shot somebody with just the Q as Zoe. Like if you if you hit the bubble, obviously they're going to right. explode. But with just the Q, it does a lot. It does a lot. It does enough to poke them out, but like it won't kill you. But like it's enough to like like two yeah. people basically are dead at once. Like you know what I mean? Because like whoever got hit by the bubble was going to take a lot of damage, especially if the splash damage hits them. Right. I mean, exactly. I I only body block it if it's like there's not going to be a fight, but it's going to be a free pick if I don't. Which uh, yeah, I think I happens like three times game. in this game, so you know, it is what it is. We're down 8,000 gold, by the way, at 22 minutes. Um, yeah. Uh, if you look yeah. at the map, uh, like 2,000 of that is just ADC, another 1,000, and the rest of bot lane, and top lane is like 3,000. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rough. Mid lane is actually even in gold, uh, which is kind of cool, yeah, I different. guess. Uh, Eric is just going to get eaten here. Um, the Shen ulti was not fast enough uh, for that one. It is a bit rough for us. Um, Jonah Pixel finds uh, the Cho'Gath ulti. Uh, could potentially use it to try and go for a steal. I'm not sure that's going to happen because I don't know if we're even able to walk anywhere near you. Um, the Chains of Corruption do miss and Thomas is able to just stall out the sleep, but uh, gets hit by Varus Q. Uh, and yeah, we're just not able to walk up here. This is the strength of team comps like this. Like, uh, in my opinion, Zoe thrives with like one other poke, like a Jace Top or a Varus, like AD yep. Carry. It, it becomes so insanely hard to walk into like these like double poke like threat comps, especially when you have something like a Lee Sin, who's n nobody's gonna call Lee Sin a poke character, but like really his Q, like he can poke with it and like yeah. fish, and then if he finds it, he can just go in and then kick into his team. I mean, it's just blow him up, or you know he doesn't have to pick it at all, right? So. 
uh, really hard to walk into in a head poke team like this, especially with like no vision because you just had no wards. Like face checking a choke off, you're just sucks. Yeah, that sucks. So yeah, face I mean, Leona, uh, really your hard. your tanky champions uh, with the the maw and the gore drinker, as well as Jokshow Sunfire, and honestly, uh, Leona is like the tankiest champion in the game with no items. So um, yeah. it's very hard for us to get anything done here. Um, I probably should have itemized differently. Um, I was really just trying to hit uh, crit item power spike, uh, but you know, is what it is at this point. I don't know uh, how much a LDR second is going to do differently. Um, I don't know. Helps with the Choga. Speaking of Choga, looking a yeah. little caught here. Does get taunted. Is probably going to get John a tornado. Does whip on the scream. Yep. We thought this was bait. Like, we thought he just walked up. Um, but instead, we take too long to kill him. Uh, the Jana ult actually almost saves Blake. Uh, but instead, Blake goes in flashes. But Jana's able to keep herself alive. Does not fall here. Um, I'm able to pick up one. Or no, actually, that goes to Jonah. Um... PB might fall here. I'm pretty much just out of the fight. And now Joel almost dies, and so does Jonah. But you go and look for a play. And I think Jonah's just going to die here. Mm -hmm. uh, got up a little bit too far. Unfortunately, neither of the shutdowns in that fight uh, went to the Zeri. So we're still missing a lot of damage here. It was a good like turn though, like seeing the yeah. Shogoth. It, it kind of looked like obvious bait. Uh, I was TPing behind trying right. to... Blake was like, it, it, we were a little mixed on that play. It's just like, is Blake running yeah. it down? Like, what's going on? And he was like, no, TP, TP. And I was like, okay. And then there's like, fight. And it was like, wait, shit, we're losing. And it's like, yeah. I mean, that, that and... team fight goes crazy if we're not 10 down 10kx or 10k yeah. gold. So. Yeah, I mean, if, if Zeri could Zeri moment there, that would probably. You know, be a repeat of last game with the, the Zeri Quadra and uh, smooth sailing, but right. unfortunately, Zeri doesn't get any pieces of that pie, and still, realistically, same spot. Uh, the kills don't mean too much. It did help Silas try and curve into Morello a little faster, but... Yeah, I mean, he and Thomas are the strongest members of our team right now, both two and a half items. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that means it's a double AP threat, and that means that this uh, force of nature is incredible. Um, as look how much damage uh, Blake is taking. He's just hitting the wave instead of the other people. Yeah, and since we see their jungler here, I. Yep. We're, this we're, we're is setting up our just morale. free Baron because our entire team yeah. is there, and Shenalti's burned, so they don't even have the possibility to get there. Um, and Malzahart, Malzahart, Malzahar ultimate is now used here. Um, we're trying to get the ult uh, for um, Jonah, which we do get, and Eric just tries to get any vision because he knows it's going to happen. Um, he delays the Baron a little bit uh, because you need to stop to kill him, but uh, it really just ends up not mattering. Um, so much of our team was committed to killing Blake that uh, we lose a different large purple creature instead, which is uh, quite unfortunate. I think we get a turret here. Not sure how much it's going to do for us. Small wins here and there. It yeah. should allow you to curve into quick blades, I guess. With the, yeah. the objective bounty, I assume. Yep. Yeah. You do hit that power spike, but... Looking yeah. like a little too little too late, but... Yeah, here's where I should have I actually itemized into um, Lord Dom's here, but I think I kind of give up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Like, to be fair... Air, we're like all melee basically. Well, we're like three melee and two po. Right. Yeah. I mean, I was gonna get it fourth. I was not going to go for the uh, Titanic Hydra oh. build again here. I was way too far behind for it to be remotely worth it. But Eric just gets gobbled here, and now we have no support. Um, in a very rough spot here. Um, Hextech Drake, I don't think is gonna go over to you guys just because you have no reason to necessarily take it. Half of Joel's health bar is now gone, and Mike runs in very aggressively. I'm um, able to pick stuff up. He is getting kind of caught down, but your bubbles are doing so much here, and you pick up a double kill um, over the wall. Um, Thomas oh, unfortunately yeah. flashes into the wall. It was uh, close. Um, I'm just looking to get anything that I can, uh, which is nothing. Um, trying my best, though. 
Uh, trying your best, yeah. but you just said you gave up, but you have to pick one. Oh yeah, gave up on itemization. Trying my oh, best okay, at okay, okay. <laughs> dealing damage okay. and killing things. Um, I will say, game. despite what your thoughts on uh, his champion, I think Thomas is actually playing this game super well. It's just kind of lost I, I in other places. Well. I, I do think he's playing well, and the more I played against Thomas, especially in that um, Oriana game, like he proved that he actually has like hands. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, no flame, I only saw him play with Sandra and Galio, and I was just like, this guy has no hands, he only plays with Sandra and Galio. And now he's playing Malzahar, so, like, my point almost stands. But, like, in the in the Oriana game, he proved, like, he, he almost, like, pushed it down my throat, but he unfortunately took that tower shot back in that uh, second game, but uh, I was, like, kind of scared of him, and then he, you know, picked Malzahar, which kind of stunted him. I, I think if he picked something... Yeah, this was kind of in. Um, I'm able to get out, but I have to burn the cleanse there to not die. Um, and now Lee Sin shows up, and I think he's going to get my flash. Yeah, the ward hop and the. Uh, actually, no, I just ulti and he kicks me out, so I can just E over the wall, and I'll be fine. But. Oh god. This is the game where the kick happens. Oh lord. There's a, there's a, there's a funny kick later. Oh, I'm excited. Um, uh, I just yeah. remembered. I will say that the Galio Lissandra series was definitely a um, one of his first series back in playing the game, so it was let's pick safe utility champions uh, that's fair, that's fair. to play safe, and then uh, it didn't yeah. pan out unfortunately. But. Actually, I actually really like seeing Thomas on like these um uh, not well, not like these, but like like the Oriana where I feel Control like you have battle more, mages, yeah, yeah yeah so just it, really anything I don't know how good he is at like the Akali's probably not I don't know. I don't we'll know what see. he plays, like, but... Yep. I, I think he could have a lot of impact right, on, that, like, that was not kick. the kick. Oh, he didn't have kick there. Okay. He didn't have kick. He thought he did. I remember you oh, okay. Was yeah, we, we thought, thought he, he like, kick. just decided against it. Um, Jonah went for a play there. We were super uncoordinated, and I'm pretty sure we just lose the game off of that. Um, because, yeah, no we way. just, There's we no lose way. our engage. No There's my flash burned out. Um, I'm not really no, no. sure what we can do There's here. I don't know. We don't end. I don't know why we don't I end. Agree. I haven't seen the kick. I haven't seen the kick. I need to see the kick. It's the funniest thing you'll ever, like, maybe not ever see, but it's really funny. <laughs> it, it was, it was funny. <laughs> I don't know why we don't, like, how we don't end. Yeah. I guess we don't have Baron anymore. Baron did fall off, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting some damage, guys, for sure. Yeah, I guess we just get the inhib and walk it out. Uh, our Hexel is spawning in two minutes, which is really nice. Yeah. So, probably just playing for that objective Baron in a minute and a half. And just reset. And yeah, I like shit my pants with that enemy, by the way. <laughs> if you were remotely near me, I was just dead. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, yeah. Doesn't happen. I was, I, was, I was kind of in base. I'm, I didn't even notice that, like, I hit you. I kind of just threw it. And assumed that the noise was a minion, I assume. I really, I, I thought I hit a minion. Yeah. Uh, Silas has 7 choke out stacks. Um, oh, and 3.6k health, but uh, Blake has 6k health. Uh, no 3 point. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, uh, a bit spooky scary. I think instead of this Morello, I think it would have been really interesting if the Silas, like I said earlier, itemized the uh, Demonic, just because of like all the HP that he's getting. Yeah. I think I could have translated into like a lot of damage. Oh, we're about to see the kick yeah. in question. We're about to see the kick in question. Yeah, he's going in, uh, does not get it off yet, goes oh in, still no, no kick, no, no, I'm no, no, trying no, to get no, out. No, no, no. Alright, well, we'll go see it. <laughs> But you get you get to see my first kill of the game. That was so cool. We gotta look up, look up. This is too funny. Yet. <laughs> Watch the Lisa. Fuck, man! I'll just kick him out and then watch this tower die. <laughs> Let's go. This is gonna be huge. Ah, no, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Trust. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there you go. Alex is, a, Alex is a bad teammate. He didn't let freaking Mike get it. No, when he flash kicked him out. <laughs> oh my god. It was pretty funny. It was so funny when it happened live. And then he 
Tower dive, you scuff, miss everything, and like, yeah, you see, and Shay's like, yeah. I'm a little old. It was, it was funny. It was fun. Yeah, I thought he was BMing because all I knew is that Eric died. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see the kick. The kick into missing everything under tower. Yeah. Prog GA almost die under tower again, but Alex bailed him out. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, what a game. For sure. What a series, honestly. It's really close. Yeah. I, think, I, I mean, think this one just like... kind of fell apart too early in the game, but I think yeah. uh, we we got a bit lucky with our safe early games in the first couple, uh, and then kind of fell apart here. But uh, very well fought. I enjoyed playing against you. Um, it, it, it's a good series. It's a good series. Yeah. Uh, MVP. This game is like very hard to call. I want to give it to either you or Mike, but um, it's tough. Yeah. I'd, I mean, I could literally see giving it to anyone. I mean, everybody did their job, I guess. Right. I mean, I think my my stance here is I feel like engages were better done by like lee then leona and i think the stay safe and output damage was done much better by you than alex not that anyone played poorly it's just like i think you two both shined a little more in that respect but um again watching it back i'm having a different take than i had initially i think um mike putting jonah that far behind um early and getting um top snowballed and allowing blake to get as far ahead as he did i think uh is definitely more impactful he also prevented me from having uh, an easy lane. I feel like his map impact was good. Uh, you looked super good, but I think um, part of it is just uh, Zoe went ahead, is uh, super free. Um, was I that ahead, though? I, mean, I, meant, I meant like Zoe while your team is ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Zoe when your team is behind is miserable. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go update those, those MVPs real quick, uh, and I'm just going to hit some music and cut stream, I think. I got to go Sounds good to me. All right, I will let people know um, if Mason wakes up or not. Um, it's a true 50-50 here. So uh, thank you to everybody okay. who, who watched, and thanks for the cookest taxi. I'm glad we finally got one. I think yeah. our next our next real one should be better because we haven't seen the games before, so it'll be a little that more hype. That is true. That is, that but, is true. All right. Uh, yeah. See you later. Uh, enjoy the podcast yeah. when it's on.